Welcome back into Accord Farms. Today is harvest day. We've got a lot to do. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be doing uh, every bit of harvest today, but we are certainly going to enjoy ourselves. I also don't know if this will work or not, but I'm certainly going to try it as well. It's in the ground because of course it is. Oh, that's that's not that's not gonna work uh we've done pretty well we're at three hundred and five thousand dollars i say we maybe upgrade this a little bit i need something that is john deere that goes fast but um we'll also not drag the ground like that hmm you know be cool get ourselves an xj yo if you haven't seen the off-road video i did uh a week or two ago go check that out or uh do we go with one of these? We don't actually have a proper car. And this would, uh, I think, be super beneficial to us. Uh, do we have, like, a nice mud tire? Yeah, we got a mud tire. Let's go windowed in the back. Uh, Left-hand, right-hand drive. Just to mess with people, I'm going to go left-hand drive. Adventure kit? Duh. Uh, lights? We want LED. Reflective chevrons? Uh, I don't... Oh... <laughs> yeah, we are none of those things. Uh, Beacon Bar, we got Rescue, Construction, Police. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we need any of those. Uh, main color, let's see. Camel Mat, maybe a Desert Sand. Yo, Desert Sand is good. Metallic, Candy, Silk. Let's go with Silk, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll do the exact same thing here with the uh, parts over. Hood color. Let's see. Let's make this like a onyx black. Don't like that. Nope. Let's go with that. That'll work. And then rim colors. Lastly, maybe this is where we have a little bit of fun. Maybe a light gray. You know what? That's not bad. That's pretty good. I know it's fairly basic, but it gets the job done. Plus, we have a trailer hitch on the back, and we can actually do a few things that we need to do. Yeah! <laughs> I like that. I like a lot. So let's use this and, uh, and and enjoy ourselves just a little bit, have a little bit of fun. First things first, we gotta get all the milk together and take that up. Oh, I forgot that this takes off in second gear. This may not be something that we keep. I'm not saying I've already gotten rid of it, but uh, well, you guys could do the math there. Uh, one thing we are gonna need to do is upgrade our milk facilities. So the amount of milk that we've got going in over there, it is little bit much it's actually a little bit too much milk for how much it can handle so we are going to look into what we need to do to upgrade that today so that's going to be fun and uh well of course it's harvest day we are going to start with uh the uh, wheat and we will go from there we will bail it all up can we collect it here yes we can uh i think i moved forward a little bit too much or that's just all the milk oh that's all the milk. Well, okie dokie. We'll pot that there. Close that door back up and keep going. Uh, also, if you missed the manure debacle uh, from the last one, uh, at a devil of a time getting... Uh, what's the best way to put this? The poo? It's, it's everywhere. And I don't like that. <laughs> so we need to find a way to control the poo. But I don't think there is any controlling it. And, uh, and there's certainly no way to keep it from going in that specific area. So I'm not quite sure what to do other than to let it overgrow and just be everywhere. Got our milk and now we are at 65,000 liters. And to be fair, I'm not quite sure if that is going to be enough to empty that out. So we'll do that. We will come here. Did it already finish? Holy crap, it already finished. We'll go here and check this thing out real quick, but I think we need to make some changes. So the milk's just not selling fast enough. So we need to find out uh, what is going to be better here. Butter is 15 to 13, so almost a 1 to 1. Uh, this is a 3 to 2, which is not great. So what sells better? Butter or cheese? Actually, cheese is doing pretty good. You know what? Let's just activate both of them and we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to go in here and set both of those to selling. We'll select uh, chocolate to selling as well, just in case. That is good for us for now. And I don't think we need this tractor again today. So let's go find ourselves a combine harvester and let's get combining. Now, the question is, do we try and use both? Or do we just go with the X9, do what do we do, and rock and roll. 
I think this is the one to go with. I wish I had a backup camera. There is a backup camera mod now, but I do not have that installed, so I, I think this is just gonna have to be what it is. Got my header, and I'm glad I put it there. That's actually really nice and easy. We'll go ahead and double check, make sure straw swath is enabled, and it is, and I think we're just gonna kinda pick up where we left off the last time with this field, and that one, 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 and that one. Again, remember, I think we have, uh, was it six fields? One, two, three, four, five, six fields of wheat. It is a lot. It is gonna take some time. I'm going to enjoy it, but it is going to take some time. Um, and then we're gonna take all of this over to our grain, uh, grain mill and have it processed. Something else, I'm just gonna drive straight through some of these uh, parts of the field, I think. I mean, let's be fair. Quite a few of these fields are basically just one field, right? And and I would have already plowed them together at this point if it was me. So I'm just gonna ignore the fact that there's bits in the middle and just keep going. I think I may have to do the same thing here as well. It is gonna get into oh no, <laughs> there's a tree in the way right there. We will uh we will do that field last then. It is kind of fun, it is kind of interesting, uh doing all this exactly like this and back and forth it will make us faster the less time that we're turning the less time that we're backing up equals more time that we're actually harvesting and that is a very good thing so i'm gonna try this see if it works i don't i don't know man it's i guess it is what it is i also need to figure out how to get rid of these uh these ends they're just it would be super cool if I could just plow all this together. So I've run two passes all the way around and now I'm coming back the second time on like this, uh, I don't know, this little pathway that I've created. It's a very interesting thing, but it's like, well, the, the hedges in the middle are invisible, so why not? You can do it. I mean, it looks fun. Without the hedges there, you'd never even know. I do want to take a look at it because I'm sure it looks really funny. Yeah. So I am going to probably go back and forth through here and then I'll have to hit this last section. Then we'll come over here to 56 with the little guy and then finish off with the big field down at the end. Now I will tell you as well, as it stands right here, we are 83%. Oof. Uh, I think we're going to have to go up and, uh, and empty this thing out, but I'm not going to cart. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Who, me delivering wheat over here with the combine instead of a trailer like a normal person? No, not me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Oh, I should probably wait until I get in here before, before I pop that out. All right, we'll bring it right here. Unload. Yeah, see, it works. So we basically got all three of those fields. There's a couple little spots here and there, but we've got them all done all together, which looks super cool. Uh, I do have to hit this last field by myself, uh, but I think maybe in the future we'll figure, figure this out or maybe just make this a grass field. Honestly, it's kind of uh, out here. It, it, this may just be a good grass field call it a day know what i mean and here it is the last bit boom and we will just kind of line up the straw swath with this swath that way we only have to pick up one speaking of we are going to use something a little bit different to pick up the straw swath because this is loose straw and well there's really no point to bail it and then come pick up all the bales by the way this sounds like it's burning right listen to this okay well, every time I go past that for some reason, it sounds like something's burning. <laughs> that time it didn't work. Crap. Uh, all right, let's uh, make our way uh, around, I guess. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to drive through a lot of these areas, drop off the header and then go drop off the rest of the wheat. Actually, as a matter of fact, we could probably knock out one more field. We got a really small one out front. Yeah, I think we could do this. Let's go ahead and just drop the header down here. Ooh, yeah, let's go. I remember back in Farms of 19, Ada Monaghan made me a combine harvester that mowed grass. Like the, the, the cutters and the knives in the front, they would cut grass and it collected grass. And I remember telling him, I was like, I wanted to spit out hay in the back as a, as a chaff. And I don't know, I don't think we could ever get that to work, but, um, or it didn't collect anything on the inside, but all the grass spit out the back. It was, it was something really interesting and neat, and I loved it. Um, and it would be really cool to get something like that back again. I don't, I don't know if, uh, if I could even do anything like that with Farming Simulator 22. I'm sure we could probably figure it out, but 
uh, may just be a little bit more difficult than, than I want to mess with. Nonetheless, uh, let's go ahead, get this stuff finished. Oh, picked up a little bit. Let's wait for that straw swath to come out. Well, had the sound, but not the, there we go. I was about to say, I heard the sound. Um, and I guess I could show you guys the loading wagon that I want to go with. I don't know if I have a modified version. So if I don't, we're going to have to make one. Ooh, modded. Two million liters, I think, right there for that one. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And it's also got an extended front, which works well. Now, it does have a red wheel on the front, so we'll have to be careful with that. 55,000 Trelleborg, that's what we're using on here. Silage additive, no. Main color, John Deere green. Uh, design color, John Deere green. And room color, John Deere yellow with a red wheel in the front. There you go, all right. So now we've got something to pick up the straw with and uh, I think we're ready to rock and roll once we're at least done with all this. I just couldn't do it, man. We couldn't make it. There's our new uh, trailer, by the way. Looking good, looking good. And it holds two million liters, so we'll be Perfectly fine. For this one, we are gonna cart because it'll just be a whole lot easier. We'll put that there. We'll jump back in here. Actually, as a matter of fact, that tractor doesn't even need to be turned on. We'll do this, get it dropped off and be good. We may even be able to hit the rest of this, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Now we've done another two fields and it's time to hit the big one, uh, this one right here. So this is gonna be nice because since there's no collisions and some of that stuff, I think I can get this to a point where I can hire a worker and just let the worker do it. Should be able to do that. I'm not quite sure if it's going to work. It should work just fine. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But hopefully here soon we're going to be done with all this. I also need to come up with a uh, easy way to mow. Of course we have the mowers hooked up and all that good stuff. But uh, I know we've got some self-propelled mower mods now. and. I wonder if we can utilize something to maybe mow a little bit more efficiently. I've run our headlands, but I'm already 50% full. I've also hit uh, part of an area down here because this is where the worker wants to go. So I'm gonna hire up the worker, let him do his thing, going back and forth and back and forth. Just kind of double check to make sure he does what he's supposed to do here near the end. But we are going to have to start carting very soon for this. So uh, maybe we should just go ahead and jump in here real quick. Get this unloaded, the 100,000 liters of wheat. And then jump back over there and get some carting done. This is going to be fun to watch. So the worker, who I am not going to be able to catch up to to do much of anything right here, is getting ready to come up to their first challenge. I'll go ahead and let him do his thing through there. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I just drove straight through that. The worker should also just drive straight through that. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. Also, uh, I think I need a bigger tractor because this one's having a little bit of a hard time. Not in a bad way, just kind of is what it is. So let's pull forward. And I want to watch this guy go straight through this pole. Because <laughs> it's just going to be hilarious. Hopefully he doesn't try and empty out right here. Yeah, he's gonna try and empty the whole thing here. Uh, well, you know what? It's not gonna take that long. We'll just let him do his thing. There we go. He's probably almost done, isn't he? Any time now, bud. Any time that you want. There you go. All right, now this is gonna be interesting. Here he goes. Put it down. Come it forwards. Ah, that's so cool. So now let's have a little bit of fun with this. And uh, by the way, I think my four wheeler is still going. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not out of gas yet. Let's just move this. Oh, perfect spot. We'll move that away to the side and we need to start picking up some straw. And I think I'm going to start picking it up on the same field that we're running right now. That way and keep an eye on Mr. Idiot Combine Harvester down there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on him. How about that? Let's start right up here at the top. I don't know if this is going to pick up the entire swath, and I don't know how far out this picks up either. Love that. But I'm going to try and hold it. Okay, it's picking up pretty far out. Let's see. So it's not incredibly far out there, but it is like, I don't know, foot, two feet extra on both sides. That's not bad. And for most people, that's going to be way more than enough anyway. Come straight down through here. No issues whatsoever. Um, 
those big swaths are going to be an interesting bit. I might try and hit those like a half, uh, you know, hit one side and then hit the other. Nah, I used to do it like that with a normal harvester, but all right, let's go straight down the middle with this and see what happens. Got the whole thing. Okay. Let's try from this angle. Ah, missed a little bit, missing a little bit. Well, nah, you're not gonna win them all, I guess. Harvest is almost complete. I mean, I, I know we've, we've hit so much, but here we are, the very last little bit. I'm gonna try and make it to where the straw swath, I can just pick it straight up. That should be good right through there. And now we go back down to the tipper and drop it off. I picked up a lot of straw, I mean, a lot. I am having to skip about half, maybe a third of the uh, little bulb at the end where the straw swath kind of overlaps itself. We'll go back through and pick all of that up. It's no big deal. Um, it is taking a little bit extra time, but it's only a few spots that we have to do that with. So I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. Also, I think this is gonna be more than, than we can actually handle. That is more than we can actually handle. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep doing this, picking up some straw and go through. We'll see how much we can get. And I don't know for sure, but I have a sneaky suspicion that we're gonna fill this thing up. I don't know, we'll find out. On one field, we have 475,000 liters of straw. Absolutely ridiculous. So we'll drop that off and we're gonna go ahead and finish carting because this is the last piece that we need to do, at least for this harvest, really is cart so we'll go ahead and take this wheat up there and then uh, we'll spend a little bit of time off screen trying to get all of the straw collected and we'll see how much we get we didn't fill it up but we've got a lot of straw dude 1.28 million liters i would say that's that's pretty good that's pretty good and as a matter of fact now that i've got it out why don't we utilize this moment to fill up the straw at both of our cow pens. Uh, speaking of, yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna do it on this one. So, uh, yeah, no, 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 well, man, I'm stuck, of course. Uh, so with this one, uh, I think, what I'm, where is it? What just happened? Oh my gosh. All right, let's get this thing out of there. Um, so here's a, here's the thing. I don't know what's going on with the manure at this cow pen, but I don't like it and it's very annoying and I don't think I, oh, best backwards driver in farm sim, just not today. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that cow pen. I don't know what's going on with the manure. Um, I think I need to have the manure spawn point just removed all to, come on man, all together. But yeah, I mean, you see it's coming out of the back. It's, don't like that, nope. So I'm just gonna dump this directly into the silo right here, be done with it and move on. As for mowing, um, this is gonna take a little bit of a different approach. We're gonna use this guy. So currently it's set to widespreading. I gotta get my bearings to figure out where in the world I am. Uh, toggle working mode, we want swath dropping. Yeah, so. With this, uh, it's got a PTO, you can't see it. Uh, this is actually a modified version, I think. Oh gosh, uh, who sent this to me? I don't remember. Uh, it's one of 82 Studio Spotter Raiders. Solar Guy, there we go. I think it was Solar Guy modding. Uh, we have no swath, PTO, uh, quite a few interesting things. And I know I could have gone for, uh, what was it, the John Deere right here and, and been fine, but you know what? I decided to go for something a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. So this is what I've gone for here. Um, we need to make silage and we need to make hay, but I don't know which ones are gonna be for what. I think these are gonna be better off for uh, silage, I think, I don't know, it's just straight on. I don't have to turn as much, which means I should probably put a baler behind this, huh? This should work, but I'm not quite sure if it is actually going to work or not. I don't know, let's find out. I mean, like I said, should. It hooked up, the PTO is uh, in place more or less. I have reset the bell counter, so at least we've got that. But we do wanna make sure that the entire thing is gonna do exactly what I want, when I want. So we are going to, yeah, yeah. we're gonna take it easy is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Please. 
All of it. Oy. There we go. That took way too long. Turn them on. Turn them on. We got a swath dropping out the back. And I believe our baler's picking up grass. Yep. The baler is picking up the grass. Let's go ahead and enable fast farming as well. We'll have a little bit of fun with this thing. I don't, uh... I don't know what the working speed is of the mower. It shouldn't out uh, outperform the baler, but I guess we'll find out. The mower goes 26. The baler needs to be going at least 24. So there we go. Drop it a bell. Plop it a bell out. Now this will be the interesting spot. Can we make these turns? Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. And, and I'm stuck on another tree. I'm getting greedy is what I'm getting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this seems to work fine. Again, this is leased. I didn't buy this. But it is super, super cool. So this is going to make doing at least the silage a whole lot easier. Maybe, well, I was going to say maybe we don't do hay this time around. But I think we'll get in a lot of trouble if we don't do hay. We may end up having to do hay. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So one thing I'm noticing here is that... Uh, Episode 10 is going on for a long time. I think I may have to go in and re, uh, retitle this uh, episode 11 instead of episode 10 part 2. <laughs> I just don't think that that's going to be the way to do it. So let's uh, turn that mower off and head over here. And well, I guess we're just going to keep going. Uh, we, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff to do. And, uh, and be honest with you, I'm doing quite well making silage bills right now. It's going to be a lot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the fields that we have had and I'm going to use those for silage bales. And then we'll take all the new grass fields that we purchased and make those hay. This is going to be the first video that we're using the new update with. Unfortunately, I recorded the last video, episode 11, like I don't know, three weeks before I'm recording this one, something like that. I took a few weeks off of doing extra recordings. I have also turned off a few settings, uh, primarily DLSS, so that things don't get stuck in the middle of the air and things like that. Well, I believe I left you guys with all of these bales. So we have completely made all of the silage bales, but we need to make a bunch of hay bales now. And I have asked my good friend Jay Turk to help me out with this. He has given me a piece of equipment and you guys might be able to see it right here. So this is a windrower and a tedder. Here, I'm gonna jump out of the sky real quick. What this will do is it will ted and windrow things up all at the same time. He has said that it may not be exactly centered, but it will work. So that's great news. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of equipment that we got last time, this mower, which is uh, just a, a, an absolutely crazy piece of kit all by itself. We'll drop that off and let's see if we can hook this up. Oh, that takes a three point and this only has a trailer hitch. We may end up having to... Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Maybe this will do the trick for us. So we grabbed a front lifter. It should work. We'll go and put that there. We'll back up to it. There we go. We've got that. And then this should hook up as well. And it does dragging the ground just a little bit so we'll see we'll see how that works i wish i could lift that but i just can't all right so now let's see how this thing works because i have no idea this is the first time i'm using it and if i turn it on it should uh work just fine i think I don't know. let's get on the field and find out what we've done is bought a lot of grass fields we've already done basically all of these through here but now we've got 50, 49, 53, 55, 58, and 60. Straight up through there, just a whole line of grass fields all the way through there. This is going to take me a little while. It's going to be a lot of fun, but it's definitely going to take a little while. So I am going to go ahead and unfold everything. Oh, 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 that was already working. Sorry, dude. DJ 60 ham. Gotta love it. Um... I was about to say, uh, this is not working. <laughs> Seems to be working just fine now because there's also been a game update in the past as well. I just want to make sure swath dropping the work mode is uh, correct and correct there as well. Cool, 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 cool. All right, turn on the mower. Let's turn on the tether windrower and see what happens. 
And uh, I would say it's doing all right. I would say this is working just fine. Of course, this is a wild and crazy PC only mod kind of thing. Uh, be honest with you, I think I'm just gonna drive straight through here. Should save me a little bit of time. Yeah, this, this is working, dude. Let's enable that fast farming mod so we get this done a little bit quicker. So we need hay. So I'm gonna make a bunch of hay and then we get to bale it up or pick it up. I haven't decided yet. It has been <laughs> quite a while, but I am almost done with all of this. It is, it has just been an absolutely massive undertaking doing all of this. Even with this piece of equipment, which to be fair, has probably done this faster than any way I could have possibly even imagined doing this. Uh, the only thing is that uh, there are some spots at the ends that, well, they're going to be missed just a little bit. But the coolest thing is we've got an awesome piece of equipment that we're going to use to bail all of this up. Well, it's well, it's Mark's bailer. It's the one we've been using this whole time. It's epic and it's awesome. Actually, funny enough, Mark has helped me with the map a little bit. Um, I have gone through, tried to edit a few things myself. Sometimes with Oxygen David maps, I'm not able to edit things for some reason. This one worked. This one worked just fine. So uh, again, this version, it's a little bit different than the version we were playing before, but it's not too bad and you probably won't notice anything, especially if I hadn't mentioned it. So let's hit this little last part right there. Ba bam Now, I gotta show this to you. We've done it all, dude. We've done it all every bit of it. It looks so good. I think that's a lot of hay. Uh, I, I think maybe we should do some of this in silage. Oof. Because this made it so easy, I'm definitely going to use this later on for other things. We may, we, we may get rid of some of these fields because it's just absolutely massive and I think maybe just a little bit too much. Yeah, maybe, maybe just a little bit too much. All right, best backwards driver in farm sim, but uh not when the rear axle spins like that i still don't understand why pieces do that oh well what are you what are you gonna do right what are you gonna do all right let's back it in here oh those look familiar huh also why am i going so fast times three there we go um i guess we could get rid of that because we have that now and the only reason i use it is for hay Cool. All right. So let's go get our baler. That was awkward. Let's go get our baler. We're going to hit the fields. Uh, I am. Uh... Yeah. Oh, there it is. Let's see how this goes. I've heard a couple reports, at least recently, that uh, for some reason, some people are not able to do hay baling with things like this. So automatic drop us turn on. That is good. And largest bell size at 180 centimeters. Oh. And of course, we need to reset that bell counter. There we go, 690 bells. Nice, all right. So it knows it's picking up hay, which is good. And this is gonna take, maybe not as long as it did to, to do all of this, but it's still gonna take us a little while. There we go, coming through, making a hay bell. And please don't, please don't wrap it. Yay, all right. So now I need to make a bunch of hay bells so that we can give all of our cattle some food because they're probably hungry at this point. And we're off. We have made a lot. I actually switched to a windrower halfway through and then realized that that was a bad idea because I'd missed some spots. And as you know, with a windrower, if you hit a certain spot and there's not enough in it, well, well, it resets, which is just so much fun. Uh, actually, I need to turn this a little bit that way. There we go. Turn it back on again because I need to fill this with hay, I think. Is that right? Yeah, cool, it <laughs> just throws it, I love it. All right, we'll fold everything up, put it out, and move along. Now we get to pick up all of these bad boys right here. I don't remember, I think sometimes they go off to the side a little bit, but nope, that seems to work fine. So we're gonna keep all of this, all of the uh, silage, all of the hay, we're keeping it all. Also, uh, was able to, to add some more animals to the uh, little piggy farm back there. Might have to do something with that. I don't know. First set coming through. Let's see what we get. Doop -doop -boop -boop. Nice. All right. Let's take a look at this. What do we have? We've got, let's see, 1.5, almost 1.6 million liters of straw, 500,000 liters of hay, almost 200,000 liters of grass, <laughs> and wheat for whatever reason. So I made a really, really 
<clears throat> really big mistake. Uh, one of the things I did was I didn't pay attention to the bales. Now, obviously, there we go, all of that's in, and that's great! We've got a million liters of grass, a million point seven liters of hay. I didn't put any grass in here. That should be zero. Uh, it's because all the silage bales were literally just made, so they weren't silage. So now I've got to figure out how to get those out and make them silage once more. Now I've got an idea we could use a production chain and well, that would be pretty easy as a matter of fact. Uh, so we're probably not gonna go that route. Probably what I'm gonna do is, well, what I always do. We're gonna cheat. <laughs> as we always do. Why is the manure out here again? I thought he fixed this. Maybe I need a new game save for it? I don't know. All, all I know is I don't like that at all. Hang on, go through. This literally just appeared. I just walked through here and there was nothing. Ugh. God, that's annoying. All right, well, here we go. Uh, maybe I should just quit giving them straw so they quit doing manure. Let's fill this up. Nope, hang on. Let's do this this way. <laughs> let's do it at the cheaty way because I'm so used to it. All right. Let's fill it up with grass. Let's see. I don't remember what this does. Is it 100,000 liters? Oh, this is going to take a while. Then we come over here and we make this silage. Where is it? I don't even know. There it is. And then we dump it. And so the grass has become silage. We're just going to do that a few times. This is our last little bit right here. I've gotten pretty quick at it, which has been very, very nice. And I thought about some other stuff as well. Um, this one thing took a long time time it took way too long fill the vehicle silage there we go yeah this took forever and i didn't <laughs> it wasn't great uh so now we've kind of swapped our silage and grass more or less we've got a bunch of hay a bunch of straw etc 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 um yeah it's fun but like i don't i don't know quite what's going on with the cattle over here but they, they're doing some, some shady, shady stuff. Let's see if I can get the food to show up at the bottom. Uh, yeah, you see, it's showing a couple thousand liters of manure and it's still going through the back. That's so difficult, man. It's so difficult. Uh, I think at this point, what I may do is just move all the cattle over to the other pen or figure out how not to give them food. One of, one of the other, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Looking at them, uh, let's see, home farm, court farms right here. They've got some food left. They don't have a lot of straw left. So I'm hoping maybe we just don't give them any straw and they won't make any manure. And, and, and hopefully maybe they won't whatever that was. On the opposite end of the spectrum, on the other farm, uh, if we come over here, you can see, hey, the manure is actually working in here. Cool. All right, well. No more complaints, I guess. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave these guys here. However, I'm gonna quit giving them si or straw. So hopefully that way the manure quits happening as well. Um, ugh, man, that's just so annoying. Sorry, I'm just a little bit frustrated at that one specific little point. Now we need to get through and figure out what's next. Feeding them. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what we need to do. So let's go give them some food. We've got our Keenan uh, Mac Fiber right here. As a matter of fact, this feed mixer is available right now for all platforms in a uh, lizard version. This is the version off their website, so that's what I'm using here, as that's the only thing that was available then. I may swap this out for the lizard version eventually, but as of right now, I think we'll just stick with this. Let's find out how much extra hay or silage we have uh, versus one or the other. So, straw, really not important. We've got a lot more hay right now than we do silage. So what I'm going to do is we are going to do... I think 50% hay. I don't know. Can I do that? Well, we're on like 50% of this thing is hay and then 20% or 30% silage, 20% straw, something like that. We could also do a 40-40, which is what I normally do, but well, that definitely takes forever. So uh, we will do this. Hang on. <laughs> we got some time to go. Hang on. There it is. 50%. Now we find our silage and we fill that up. Now we're gonna fill this all the way up to 80,000 liters. Actually, I could do 75. That's 67, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think I think we go to about 75, there we go. And then the rest of it in straw. I hope this works. It should work. Oh boy, I think we may have put too much hay in. Oh, it's coming down though, it's coming down. We've done it, yes! 
TMR, baby! Yeah, so that worked well. 50, 30, uh, or 50, 25, and 25. Cool. So we need to feed everybody now. So let's figure out a way to get in here. I could back it up all the way, but yeah, why show off, right? And we'll pull straight in. There we go. So at least we will give these guys some food. But yeah, they're, uh, we are not giving these cattle any more straw. We still want them to make milk. We still want them to make slurry. That's cool, but no straw. No manure. I got a little bit left here, uh, 116,000 liters. I think that's what we had in there to begin with. So I'm just going to give them a little bit here and a little bit there. We'll we'll see kind of what we do. I, I think I only need, what is it, 200? No, <laughs> 800 and some thousand liters over there, but we're not going to do that much. Here we go. We'll, we'll put a little bit of silage in here and, and uh, make that all happy again and i'll basically fill the rest up with hay until i can not hit the magic numbers anymore or un until it's too much i think about there's probably gonna be as far as we can get and you know what i'm cool with that let's take it over to the other cow and food cool we'll let that run here for a second we'll double check see if there's anything else that we need to do uh tnr's really it again we're not gonna give them any straw uh, no straw there as well. You know what? I'm pretty happy with how the rest of this has turned out. Of course, there's manure everywhere, but we'll get that sorted out eventually. This could be backed up and put away. We won't need to feed them for another few days. And yeah, I think that's, uh, that's pretty good. We need to focus on maybe some of the fields that we have. Uh, we've got a lot, uh, and, and it may be a little bit too much. A, a lot of small fields, but not enough big fields. So these are fields that we own. I'll bunch all the way through here and it's pretty good. And I don't think we own that. No, we don't own that. But what I'm kind of looking at is some of these bigger fields over here that cost way more that we could do similar work in. And we, well, we would definitely have to drive the crop over back and forth, but at least here, I mean, like here, we've got a nice tie in. We could get maybe like 110, maybe a few of those, but we would have much larger fields that we could manage. Right now, we're having to make a lot of silage and a lot of hay just to get by with feeding our animals. And, and at this point, I wonder, should we just buy the TMR? I mean, it would be cheaper. We could use, use the time and just do some regular crop harvesting and just buy the TMR. I'm thinking maybe that's the direction that we go with. It's probably going to be way, way cheaper in the end anyway. And since we're not giving them straw, well, we don't need to actually get straw anymore. And we could sell that if we wanted to. So that's an option. If we did that as well, we wouldn't need the entire middle section of this map. We could basically get rid of everything in this string right here. Uh, I like these and I like this big field over here. Um, but having like, I don't know everything around through here it just gets a little bit much so i think being able to sell this entire string through here and just buying the tmr from now on and not really doing so much grass work might be a good way to go so i'm gonna go through here we're gonna get rid of this stripe of fields there we go so what do we have to Ooh, we got a million dollars cool that's a lot uh yo i just realized two part this field is on two parts so you have to buy that's fun. So it makes me wonder, are these grass fields right here, these five grass fields, are those going to be enough to do this? <laughs> I know I was just talking about doing the TMR stuff, but I do enjoy harvesting. But we could also do something different with these. I don't know. What ideas do you guys have for this? Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fields to take care of at the end of the day, but at least we could get a good crop count out of it. So there you go. There is that. Now we need to figure out what is going to be next what's gonna go where what are we gonna do well we just got done with this harvest so we did grass and we did wheat now that we've got basically everything we could ever want and more i think we should do something kind of fun we have linseed rye field beans and alfalfa so maybe we split those up and try out the new crops in this map and see what happens okay so i know exactly what we're gonna do some of the fields we've cultivated and taken care of a couple of them we need to go ahead and do for ourselves so this guy out here we need to cultivate this up i think i've got a drag drilled cedar around here somewhere but i don't actually think i own a cedar anymore I don't know what happened. Oh, no, I do have one. I just have no idea where it is. According to uh, my 
notes. It should be around here somewhere. Ah-ha-ha. Uh -huh. We have found it. Let's go ahead and grab this. I'm not going to seed right now, but I at least want to just have it. There we go. We have it. We also want to eh, go ahead and fill it up with seeds. Why not? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. And then we need to look. Let's see. So we have barley, oats, canola, soybean, sorghum, oilseed radish, grass. Okay, so we have linseed, rye, field bean, and alfalfa with this. So let's use our primary field or our primary fruits as rye. So that'll be good. However, this whole field right now here is going to be plowed up here in just a second. I'm not going to worry about the grass, nothing like that, but I do need to get some of the stuff out of the way. I also have some headers on here as well, and those headers are going to have to move. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but they're going to have to move. So the combine harvesters are over here. We've got a small little shed there, and then this is where our headers normally go. What I'm going to do is we're going to just move the headers out of the way, probably put them in the middle of one of these fields. Actually, does not have a no, that does not have any header on the bottom of it. I'm just going to kind of put them out of the way for now. We'll put them over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Actually, there's a pathway right here. Could technically put them here, although I'm going to be in the middle of a field later with that as well. And I think one of them's on a header trailer. Eh, might be better just get a tractor and move that one. Let's see what's close by. Eh. I guess this will work. <laughs> Let's detach. Nice. There you go. So yeah, we'll come over here, we'll plow all this up, and we'll turn this into a field. It is a uh, an area that I've completely ignored, and I don't know why, because it's a huge, huge area. We could do something with this, but currently it's not a field. So I would have to plow it up and, and use it as one. And that's exactly what we're going to do. One big old field all <laughs> for me. And we're only going to use this, I think this is the 6 meter version? Uh, maybe it's the 9 meter. This looks a little bit larger. Or 8 meter? I don't know. I guess we could take a look. So 6 MT. Yeah, we we, we want to go with the 9 MT. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to use the 6 MT as the first pass. And then we will use the 9 because it'll make it a lot quicker. And yes, I know this is a pathway that we have been using to get from one side to the other. And I'm plowing it up and I don't care, man. I just don't care. There we go. That is good. We'll come through here. Do, do, do. Looking nice. Looking good. Oh, yeah. If I was smart, I would leave this part unplowed, but well, where's the fun in that, right? Come through here. There we go. And then down and around. Uh, the good thing is a lot of the fields on here, they just kind of follow the, um, I don't know, the hedge. So we'll just kind of do the same thing. We won't get too close to it. None of the other fields are too close. And then whenever we get down here, we'll just kind of make a nice little carve. I thought this field was going to be used by all the cattle, but that turns out to be not the case whatsoever. So yeah, there we go. And now all I got to do is convert this and then plow the rest, which shouldn't take too long, but it's going to take long enough. So let's come in here. Got the six. Now it's a nine. Cool beans, cool beans. Hopefully this thing's got enough power to pull this. Uh, I didn't think about that part. Yeah, yeah, totally fine. Today is going to be quite a few different things. We need to plant. We also need to figure out what new crops are going to go where. So that's pretty exciting. We're also going to look at some new animals. We've got a lot of crops now. Maybe we could look at possibly buying some other animals. Also, I've completely neglected my production chains over the past few episodes and well, uh, there's a lot ready to go. So we're going to have to do something about that. Speaking of production, change, you can see over here at the grain mill, which is where we are right now, we have 290 liters of wheat in there. We need to figure out how to get that going faster. We've also got, well, a shortage of uh, flour. There's, there is none. So we need to get some over there because we have some now. Also, our <laughs> farm dairy cheaty is, is actually doing just fine, but I really don't want to upgrade it just yet. You can see I've got it on times half, and that's how fast it's going. We're selling butter, we're selling cheese, and we are selling raw milk. We're going to make a lot of money, and we're going to be just fine. But the first thing that we need to do today is figure out one of those things to do. <laughs> I think the easiest thing to do for me is going to be go ahead and sort the production chains first. So let's go ahead and hit that. We'll jump on our John Deere Buck 500 right here and we'll hook up to our trailer. As a matter of fact, 
This setup, though it may be uh, super cool, might, uh, we might do better. Maybe something a little bit different as far as the world of John Deere goes. This is a cool machine, don't get me wrong. But for that trailer, it's just a little bit lightweight. Maybe something more like this would work. So we've got a trailer hitch out here. It is a four seater, so it is a little bit bigger. It only goes 46 miles an hour, so about half the speed of the other. However, uh, I feel like this may fit this trailer a bit better. Your rear wheels are still dragging though. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do about it? Also, I don't know where our bits are. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take a little Yui turn through here. Let's head down to the bakery. I think that's where the stuff is also. Is that still invisible? Definitely not. <laughs> Let's just ignore what just happened at move on. Dear bakery, do you have, well, here's one, I guess. I guess this will work. We should have two of these. So I'm not quite sure what happened with this. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's put this over here because this is supposed to stay here. I think I sold the other one because it was in the middle of a field and I didn't want to mess with it. So maybe we go grab another one. So this is where that global goods transport pallet should be. And yet it is not. So we're going to back out of here and we are going to force it to be here. I'm going to use the store deliveries mod. Let's jump in, find our global goods transport pallet. Aha, that's exactly what we wanted. All right, so now we've got to get this stuff. So all we need to do is make it move. There we go. Good, good, good. And then we will plop that right there. Now all these should drop down. The good thing is there's only 10,000 liters left, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's enough to where it's going to be an issue. Is it gonna ever pop up? Should, there we go. All right, we're gonna leave that sitting. That'll do its thing quite nicely. Next, let's check in and check some animals. So over here we have little baby rabbits. I don't remember what they eat, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, eventually we'll have some rabbits or something like that. I did mention that we are going to keep the cattle in the last episode. However, uh, this whole manure thing, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. I think we needed a new game save to fix it, but. Well, we're too far invested at this point already. Uh, we also have chickens, which I have not modified yet, so I'm going to have to do that. But one thing that I have done is the pigs and the sheep. Not the horses either, for some reason. Let's come over here to the sheep, because I would like to have some of these. So we could get up to 500, at least on the modified version that I've done, and we want ones that will do wool. One insane thing is... Ch cheaper cheap man i yeah i will see we can hold 500 so let's get 250 that way we can double it in what a year and be totally fine there so there's our uh 60 let's come back over here we're gonna do the what is that the stein chef i don't know uh there's 120 180 240 and lastly we'll do 10 nice so 250 right there. Uh, they will reproduce, which is super cool. And now we need to get them some water and food. So this is the grass, which works for me, but we had to get this because our other tractor is on the other farm and I didn't feel like driving it over. They still got a lot of power though. I will say Mr. Mark Thor has done a killer job with this thing, but hey, straw grass. Ooh, only 22,000 liters. That's that's not the greatest in the world. I don't know if they'll take hay. That may have should have been something that I looked at. Oh, come on. Oh, that's definitely a crash. I never said I was the best forwards driver in Farm Sim. Well, haven't in a few years since Clutch completely humiliated me back in Farm Sim 19. You know what? I didn't mention that, dude. Why, why are we even bringing that up, right? Yeah, why are we even bringing that up? <laughs> Let's just take it around. I've also got a liquid tank around here somewhere as well. So we'll get in there and give them some water. Uh, we'll bring the other uh, tractor over. We are going to be getting wool, which is pretty cool. Let's see. We'll come through here. Oh, like that fence. That's a nice fence. Bring this round and back it in. Also, uh, yeah, it's got some front uh, black or red wheels for some reason. I, I, and, I, and I don't know why. I'm also running over sheep like it's going out of business here. Can we get... Can we... Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. Oops. All right. Let's go through here because I want to see, will they take hay? Yes, they will. Okay. So now I need to go back over and refill this thing with some hay. Ooh, I found a cheaty way to do this. Look at this. 
I'm super smart. And just because I can, I'm backing up all the way back. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. So we have some grass, we have some hay in there, and now they are up to 173,000 liters, which is good. It's not a lot, but it's it's fine for now. Uh, we need to get this some water though, because if we don't get those some water, uh, they will spontaneously combust. And that's a thing that sheep do. And now for the water, I went ahead and just picked up the same tanker that we've got across, but probably what we could do is buy another one of these and just leave it here. That may work absolutely just fine there we go dump the water and they will be nice and happy so we're gonna fill that up i believe it holds a million liters so that works for me uh, at least the modified version that i've done will let's go around because there's gonna be some other areas with other animals let's see for example so we have home farm cows we did get some of those court farms sheep we have those as well and then we've got pigs, chickens, rabbits, cows, and then another one. At least those are the ones that we own. I do believe there's one more farm. Isn't there like a, a farm down here somewhere or something? There's one more farm on here, I believe. So we have this guy right here. I believe that was, uh, was that Stoke Bridge? Something like that. Let's see. Court, 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 court. Yeah, none of those. But this area right here, yo, check this out. Hang on. I'm trying to push the right buttons here so I can buy this. And now we've got here Stonebridge Rabbit Farm and then Chicken Farm. I like how they use the pig thing for rabbits. But yeah, we've got a whole other area here. But I thought there was one more with cattle. Like when I was modifying the farms, there was four cattle pens that I modified. We're going to go and sell that because I don't want that yet. Here it is. Field 34. We've got a whole area there. And then here are our Aminals. We've got a few down here. We've got some more sheep and we have some cattle right there. So this is a very, very nice area. I'm kind of kind of digging this. Can be honest with you. Did, no, the question is, I think, did I modify it correctly? Here we go. So we've got uh, Elmcroft down there, but not showing anything. Let's see if we can jump down to the ground and, and quit flying around so much. See, where do I buy the animals? Here we go. Boop. Okay, so it looks to be modified correctly down at the bottom right-hand corner. I got a million on Earth thing. Maybe this will be good, but I did complain saying that I think that we don't have enough money to get everything. I mean, we've got enough money, but I'm not sure we've got enough spread outness. So I'm going to go back in. We're going to sell this at least for now, but at least we know where everything is now. So now at least for now, we've got the animal situation sorted. We've got the productions sorted, more or less. Now we need to get a little bit of fertilizer done, and that is going to be the bit next. So I've got a couple fields that need it that I haven't done yet, so it's going to be uh, this one which we've created, and another field that we created. And then once we get these, it is going to be time to start putting crops in the ground. As I said, we're going to be doing some of the new crops. We may not be doing all of them. I know we've done rye, but uh, we may revisit that. We definitely need something with some straw because we will need a little bit for some TMR mix. Uh, at least for now, we're going to continue to make that instead of buy it. I know I said in the last one we were going to start buying it. Yes, it would be cheaper that way, but eh, we're okay. We're doing just fine. Let's head over to the other field, uh, which if you didn't see us make it in the last episode, we took the cow field right beside the other farm's cows. Right over, yeah, way, way off there in the distance, top of your screen and plowed it all up. So we're gonna use that as another field. We're gonna use it as a crop field. Yes, it's not gonna be a grass field, it'll be a crop field. So we'll put something in here, but I don't know what. So there we go, <laughs> rock through. We could also take this field to our left, which is beside the grain mill, but I don't know if we're gonna be using that for anything or not. Sorry, cows, probably stings a little bit, but eh, you'll be all right. All right, well, step one out of the way, we're gonna need that again, but we'll put it there for now. Now let's come over here, why am I? I feel like I'm floating. Yeah, I was definitely floating in the air. <laughs> All right, let's select something new. So we have linseed rye filled beans and alfalfa. We, well, we've already got grass down in some of the fields, so maybe we do rye and, uh, and filled beans. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, I'm down with that. Maybe we do, let's see, these fields would be kind of interesting to do otherwise uh let's do field beans in these fields over here and we're gonna do rye in the big field so let's open this up and we'll spin it around we will select field beans which i have accidentally gone past four times now there we go got it 
We'll put it down and then we're just gonna do it right here in our brand new field that we just created. Put it down. There we go. Turn it on and rock and roll. Ladies and gents, filled beans are in the ground. Yay! Got a little bouncy part here in the field, so I'm gonna go over here to our soften tab and see if this helps any. I'm not sure if it will or not. I know I hit a couple spots of this field that were a little bumpy uh, a little while ago, but yeah, let's let's see if this does anything. We definitely had some issues when we were coming through plowing. Uh, that did drop it down a little bit. Not too bad, not too bad. Spin it back around and we'll see if this hits the zoom, oh boy. Uh, yeah, there's something up with the cedar as well. Hang on, let's go ahead and raise that up and let's go ahead and put it back down. Turn it on and go. Yeah, this cedar may be just a little bit too big for this tractor. I think maybe an 8R might be in our future somewhere. The 9RX uh, was cool. I can't remember, did we keep that? I don't, I don't know if we kept that or not. No, I didn't even use it on this one. Oh, we're, we're sliding is what we're doing. We're, we're sliding. I think we need an 8R. Bad. Filled beans, check and check. We've cut them all through here. Now we need to come here and here and plant some other stuff. Now I do have one thing I want to do. So we've got alfalfa in there, but we also have linseed. Linseed's not a crop that I'm very familiar with. It may be something that you are familiar with, but not DJ Goham. So I'm gonna plant it. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what grows and, and and all that good stuff. Man, I love this cedar so much. It is so awesome, but boy, oh boy, this poor tractor's having a tough time with it. We'll drop it down. We'll cut it on. There we go. So I don't know how this is gonna pop up. This may be a grass. I, I don't, I have no idea. But I'm excited, and this is the only field of it that we're going to be planting right here. And then across the way, we are going to be planting rye. So, we're not going to be doing anything wild, nothing crazy. Uh, it's just going to be a normal, ish enough crop. So, there you go. Now, pretty much everything has been taken care of. What I need to do is come through and fertilize this field one more time, and then we are pretty much done with today in game which is kind of nice well we will continue to move forward and we'll see kind of what happens and pretty much every day we have to go through we have to handle the milk and things like that so uh, just be aware there's there's gonna be a few things to do in between unless things are turning out very well we've kind of taken a step back from having all the massive fields and all those extra grass fields things like that hopefully um the ones that we have turn out okay because we have 500 cattle right now and 250 head of sheep but soon uh those numbers are not only going to double but uh dub double yep they they will not only double but double uh, but not twice <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Here we are in the next day, 9 a.m. in September. Uh, all of our cattle have gone through their straw, which means we can come through here and get rid of this manure, which has gone from there to, well, back here for some reason. I'm gonna use the soften tool to do this. Uh, you can do this and it's gonna get rid of stuff. So here we go, soften, just boop -a -doop -a -doop, like that. Do it quickly and it won't change the ground that I mean, it still will, but not a whole lot. So I think that's gotten rid of every little bit. We'll kind of double check one more time just to see. It says manure 10,000 out of 10,000, but I don't see any, which is nice. Uh, so that is there. Now we need to go to the other farm right over here. Where's a good spot? That, yeah, that'll work. Uh, we got 10,000 liters of manure here as well, but only 10,000 liters of manure. So we're gonna do the exact same thing here as well. Let's jump over to landscaping. We've got our uh, rough saften too. And there you go, cool. Now zero of 10,000 liters of manure. And now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Ha ha ha, yeah, no more manure baby, let's go. How are the sheep doing? Well, it looks like they're doing pretty good. 2,200 liters of wool, but we need to go put something there to collect all the wool. Uh, 30,000 liters of milk. That's pretty cool. And jump down here, 30,000 liters of milk. So we have 60,000 liters of milk to pick up. We've got our 5M right here. Love this tractor. 
And I'm gonna have to drive through this field to go get the other milk. Sorry! Got another spot that I'm getting a little bit of a bounce out of. So I'm gonna drive over here landscaping uh, yet again. We're gonna come through here and just kind of give this area a little bit of ease. Just like that. Some of this stuff was a little bit bumpy, but uh, looks like, yeah, I think we smoothed it out and we're good now. Cool. All right, let's go get that milk. To be honest with you guys, doing little chores like this might be one of my favorite things to do in Farming Simulator. It's kind of like you've, you've got your farm, you're up and running, everything is working the way that it should. And now, really all you got to do is take care of it. And this, please open, thank you. Uh, and this is something that I thoroughly enjoy because we've gotten everything, it's all good, it's all done. Go and fill the milk up real quick, there we go. It's fun, I don't know, it, it's like you don't really have to work at it anymore. Something like that, that makes any sense. I don't know, tell me what you guys like. What is something, obviously, everybody's got their favorite thing, of course mine is harvesting, but kind of at the end of the day, you've got this whole little bit right here where it's all kind of done for you. And you just get to enjoy playing the game and doing chores, things like that. I like it. I think at some point I'm going to have to do something about driving across that. I know there's another way in. I could go all the way around, but this way is just so much faster. But I could go the other way. Yes, you, you, are, you are right about that. We'll go ahead and fill this up real quick. There we go. Let's get us up to about 60,000 liters of milk. We'll drop it off and we'll see how much we did. Looks like we made about five, six hundred thousand dollars last night it's not too bad we're going to dump that out cool 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 and check our production so milk yeah i got rid of everything overnight that's kind of neat um up here the grain mill i think i've already got it at max production level yeah it's going it's just not not that wild and crazy let's double check these production chains and i've purchased something that might help us i don't know if it will or not but Hey, we'll certainly try. So this mod right here comes with a trailer. So I have chosen the trailer to go with it. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to put a uh, pallet bit on the back of this. Maybe be able to. So it does not match, does it? Let's go in here real quick. Hang on. Rim number two. Yeah, those match in main color. We'll change this up to that. Yeah, that, that matches a little bit better now. So that'll work. Now let's grab this, which is... Wow, 162,000 liters of flour. That's a, more than I thought it was going to be. Um, and does it fit? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Um, I mean, it's on there. So what are you going to do, right? I'll give you this. It looks way better back there than it did on the other trailer, that Bachman trailer. Yeah, this actually almost looks like it's supposed to be there. So that'll work for me. Now, the other trailer would not fit through here. So I wonder if we're going to be able to fit. Oh, can we make the turn? We can. And now can we back up into here? If we could do this, this is going to be a bit of a game changer for us. I need to realize that I don't have this thing on here straight. So backing up that ain't working. And we should just be able to pull us right over the cell point. Like so. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it is unloading. It's not slow, but it is unloading nonetheless. Very cool there. Very cool. And we can see our flower at the bottom going in. Perfect. We should be able to make some bread soon. And maybe sometime soon we'll find something to spend all of our money on as well. We're up to almost $1.5 million, which is very, very good. But we've still got lots and lots to do. So I think that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Do the like and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to do, uh, do the bit to collect the wool. Well... We'll figure that out when we're back. Today, we're going to be focusing a little bit on productions, making sure that everything is good. I'm going to show you a new production that I just put down, and we're going to be doing some mowing. We've also got a couple other things to do, as well as taking care of our animals. So let's jump right in and get it done. First, let's talk about a new production that I just put down. It is this guy. So this is a fermenting silo from Omatana. However, it may look familiar as I use it on quite a few of my series. We can make hay or silage out of this. 
and I need both. So we're going to bring our grass here so I never have to Ted again. I never have to windrow again. Well, I may have to windrow again, but we could bring everything right here and we'll be good to go. Secondly, the green mill is empty now. So we've got nothing else in here. We have 590 liters of flour, but we're just waiting for, you know, another one, basically. Now, if we look down, we've got plenty of places to put that flour and our bread is making some decent money. And of course, we've got, well, actually a little bit more milk, but I've had this running. So this is like the next day's, or the previous day's stuff. We're doing really well with money as well. Uh, we are at $1.8 million, and I can be honest with you, there's not very much that I want and or need, but I would like to buy that John Deere 8R. I want a big tractor, so let's go get one of those first. And here's what I'm going for, uh, a base game John Deere eight arm. Um, I was looking at some of the mods and the mods are good. However, I couldn't find one that really kind of stole my heart, if that makes any sense. So I chose this one, the base game one. We went Michelin, we wait, that's kind of it. How much wool do we have by chance? 5,825 liters. Don't know how that works, but uh, okay. Oh, we need a front weight on this thing as well. Let's just use the base game John Deere weight. I think it's gonna be probably more than enough. I think the 1150, or is it the 1800 that goes on the front of that? I think it's the 1800 that fits this one more perfectly than anything. I don't know. We'll look up to it and find out one of these weights does. <laughs> At least and that's, well, that's really all I know. Hey, let's come through, we'll grab it. There we go. Does it line up? Uh, not really. I think that might be a little bit too much weight for the front, but I think for now we'll just move on. We've also still got our 7R and this is what we're gonna be mowing with, I think, but I don't, I don't know, we may use the new the new 8R. I also have no idea where in the world my mowers are. Turns out my mowers are on this farm over here, not the other one. So we'll go ahead and grab these and we'll clean them off a little bit as well. Got them. Not what I wanted to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going through right now and I forgot somebody sent me this. I think it was Mark. And uh, let's see what we could do at least with this mower. This should make things a little bit easier. Let's see, we'll go John Deere there. We'll go John Deere for the front. Design color, I'm not sure what this should, oh. Well, that's gonna be John Deere green as well, I think. Yeah, that works perfect. Let's go and get ourselves one of those $53,000 or $50,000, not really quite sure. Let's see, is there a John Deere? Can we throw John Deere on there? We can. <laughs> and then we'll do the exact same thing here as well. John Deere, John Deere, and John Deere. Yeah. Wa pow. Now the thing is with these, so the ones that we did have were the Laleys right there. Uh, let's go over to these. Say Lely, I think they're Cavernland, something like that. Let's take a look. So with this, I should be able to hook up right here. Okay, maybe not. Uh, dead attachment does not work for me. Um, maybe it's this one. Uh, <laughs> I think, you know what, it's lined up. I think that's the one. Yep, that's it. And then we've got this, which should hook up there, which does. Ooh, that is a very, very far back set of mowers. How much does all that way hang on i need to offset this just a little bit we gotta look at these mowers and see how much they weigh go in here mowers there we go all right so we're looking at uh tonnage tonnage 1.4 and 300 so 1.7 something like that oh hang on do we have an 800 weight we do right here this should actually be perfect <laughs> i got the r the right uh weight on, on accident there you go yeah, it's just about perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. I don't know. It says it's set for wide spreading. We'll back this around and then we'll double check and we'll make sure that it's on toggle work mode. There we go. Swath dropping. So everything, of course, opens the way that it should. That's good. These should also mow backwards. And not only that, but this should save me from having to like make the second trip twice this should make mowing very easy i mean like way too easy almost let's go ahead and unfold here oh slow it down baby slow it down yeah i think this is gonna work as a matter of fact i think it's gonna work so much that i'm gonna start over here 
before I do the turn. Yeah, right there. All right, drop them down. And then that mower's dropped down as well, I believe. Yep. Turn it on. Turn them on. Make sure there's no conditioners on these. And it should drop one swath. And it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Very cool. And it's extremely nimble as well. This was like my favorite mowing setup back in Farming Simulator 19. But Farming Simulator 20, for some reason, I haven't seen it. I don't know if anybody's just not done it or if it exists and I don't see it anywhere. Regardless, uh, this works now. My favorite mowing setup at Farming Simulator is back and it's gonna make things so easy for us here at Gore Farms. I'm not sure this could have worked any better for this first field. That was so easy. Oh, and look, it's so clean. And I don't have to come back and do anything other than pick it up, which is gonna be another thing because we've got, well, I mean, I know what I'm gonna use, so I guess there's that. All right, let's get close over here. I've got uh, quite a few of these fields to do, as a matter of fact. 106, 107, 52, 54, and 56. I did decide to do this one in grass, and then we've got quite a few other fields to do as well. However, none of those are ready yet. So we won't do them today. So today's all about this. Oh, I forget the tail kind of swings out just a little bit. This is such a cool setup. Man, I wish that something like this would come to Mod Hub. And if it hasn't already, let me know because I don't want to be the idiot that says one thing, but actually it's something else. I, I have been that guy before and it's not fun. And the second field is now done. Look how good this looks. I've also changed the time two times one so you can see just how long things take in real time. Past couple episodes have been at, I think, 0.5. So, uh have to double everything here you can see exactly how long it takes me to do well everything let's jump back in i think i've got two three more fields and these are going to take the longest out of all of them so i'm just going to go and get these done we'll see you when it's over and just like that we are done with them oh bam all oh, they look good too hang on can i can i do this yeah <laughs> Look at it, look at it, look at it, look, look. Oh, it's so beautiful. You guys know I like a perfectly windrowed mitten. What is this? Birds? Did you did you do this? I don't remember doing that. Anyway, this looks great. Now that the mowing's done, we do need to pick it up, but we also need to do one other thing. I need to get rid of these mowers. What was that? 13 grand? That's not bad. And 34, that's more like it. So close to about 47,000 for all of that. Okie dokie. Not that we need it, but uh, here we are. I'm also going to use this tractor for the uh, picking it up. Yeah, why not, right? This should work fine. I don't I don't see why it wouldn't. And uh, plus this pickup picks things up a little bit better, faster than a normal loading wagon. And this seems to be doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, I will have to pay a little bit of attention whenever I do these parts. Let's see if we can do this without any issues. There we go, good, good, going good. Perfect, no issues whatsoever. All right, I have no idea how much grass we're gonna be getting. I know that I generally make about 100 bales in an area this size, so that's like nine, 900,000, 950,000, somewhere around there. I don't know, about to find out though. And after what seems like forever, uh, we are good. I've had to fill up a few things here. There's hay and grass. So there's about a million liters right there and this is gonna fill us right over the top. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna go over, we're gonna dump it in our new silo, the new production chain, oh yeah. It's been a few episodes since we've been up through here. This was the first sail point that we ever used on the map. Absolutely love it. Ooh, swing it around, there we go. And we'll drop right in here. This is going to go half silage, half hay. We'll double check it real quick because it does go super duper fast. So right up here. Uh, yeah, both of those are turned on. Good for me. So we have 1,055,524. So we'll split that right down the middle. Drop it out. And good to go. More or less. Uh, it's actually going to happen fairly quickly. As you can see, it is already happening. And one of the good things is this is... <laughs> Well, it's the only thing we got to do today. So, so yeah, it's October. 
let's move along. Find out what's in the... Man, look at that. It is just going, going. Uh, we probably should go fertilize the fields, and I should probably leave this here so we can do a little bit of carting and transport everything back over to the main farm. I do not want to have to come over here every time. Now that we're done with field work today, let's take a look at our productions and see how everybody's doing through there. First stop is going to be right here. <laughs> Can't make that turn that fast. First stop's going to be right here at the grain mill, and looks like, well, nothing other than to pick this up. Uh, this actually worked super duper well. I don't have to do anything, don't have to pick it up, don't have to throw it on there, nothing. I just grab this trailer and that's it. This thing's really nice. And like the idiot that I am, I, I literally forgot that whole feel well, part of it anyway. Let's pull into the bakery. Obviously the bakery's taking a lot longer to do stuff than I would expect, but then again, base game bakeries, they kind of take a while as well. What am I doing? I'm very bad at backing up today. Maybe it's just this trailer with this thing. Uh, I don't know, it, having a long vehicle with a short trailer, that's never gonna work out quite well. But we should just be able to pull this back to there and drop it. Cool, so that is emptying out. We had 80 some thousand liters, it's pretty good, but that will take some time. So there's that. How's this production doing? How are we doing over here? So we got 29,000 liters there. If we look at our production chain menu, bringing it right here, that's a lot. So bread's gonna be okay. Bread also makes just an absolutely insane amount of money. So that I'm cool with. So now that we know about our production chains, let's take a look at our animals real quick. Once that's done, I think we're going to look at some of the equipment that we have, maybe get rid of some stuff. Uh, looks like these guys are okay. Slurry is getting up there. We've got close to 400,000 liters of slurry at this point. That's a lot, that's a whole lot. Wool is uh, producing as well, but it's going real, real slow. Uh, also, we can do 30 little bunny rabbits. I'm, I may modify this to get a thousand and just see how many we can get jumping around, but I don't think that's gonna work anytime soon. Coming over here, take a look at these guys real quick. Lazy, lazy, lazy. But the good thing is, no manure. Ha <laughs> ha. No problems at all. And that slurry is filling up. We won't wait till that gets too hot, but we'll get there close enough. And then the sell point for that will be right there. What in the world? Can, can I help you? That's, is that a solid plane? Nope, that is a 2D object. You okay there, bud? Okay, I'm just gonna leave you be. Now we need to take a look at our equipment that we have and see A, what can we get rid of, and B, what do we need to get rid of? Uh, I don't think we need to make bells anymore, so unfortunately, this piece of equipment can't, oh, wrong button, uh, there it is. This piece of equipment can go. We've only got three hours on it, but trust me, that's a lot on a baler. We can also get rid of this because I don't need to tet and windrow no more. We can get rid of our Tether as well, because I don't need that anymore. Coming through here, what else piece of equipment wise do we have? Tractor's are good. Uh, we really don't need the 4020, but I like it and it's worthless. So uh, can't do anything about that. We've also got these stuff right here. That's looking good. Combines really don't need the second combine harvester anymore, if I'm honest. So we'll probably go sell that. And we can also sell the four wheeler. I don't need that anymore either. Tipper's good with me. We'll sell that second header. We've also got a header trailer that goes with that, so we could sell that. Plow's good. Cedar's good. Sprayer, but I still use it, but I'm really not using it that much anymore, so we could get rid of that. And the bell trailer, we need to get rid of that as well. You think in here? I use both of those and one of those trailers. So that's a lot of equipment to get rid of. Here we go. Actually, how much more is it worth here? 47,000 there. And if I sell it here, 42. All right, well, I'm just gonna do it all in the game. There we are, Rob. We've kind of gotten rid of some stuff. We didn't make a whole lot of money off of it, but I feel like I've gotten my use out of all of those things, so we're good. And we've got stuff on the farm that we don't have to sit and worry about just taking up space. That's kind of the worst thing is you upgrade and then you just kind of save what you've had. And I do that a lot. And I'm not sorry for it. We are now into November. And well, now at this point, everything is ready. Filled beans are ready to go. We've got a rye ready to go as well. Everything's ready to go. However, our poor, poor, poor animals, they're going to need just a little bit of food before we get moving. So, uh, well, actually, no, they don't. 
why are the ones at home farm eating so much more than the ones? Ugh. You know what? I, I just don't. I don't know. I don't know why. And, and I don't care. Uh, let's find ourselves this guy because I am going to need to put everything around again. So we'll open that up and we will take our milk and salad to thing. Uh, money's okay. Money feels like it's actually going down. Why am I so bad at backing up today? <laughs> Money feels like it's going down, not up. And I have no earthly idea why that is. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, let's go ahead. There we go. 35,000 there. And another 35,000 liters from there. We'll go ahead and back this round. Take it right over here to our milk place. Ooh, slow it down. There you go. And drop it off. This really doesn't take long. I, I thought upgrading this would be a good idea. Upgrading this was a terrible idea. It just makes it happen way, way faster. And I'm not sure I'm making any extra money off of it, if I'm honest. So there we go. That is that. Eh, we may as well feed our animals while we're at it. Also, something interesting has happened over at the new production chain. So you know how I put just barely over a million liters in here? Well, it's made like $1.3 million worth of stuff. I didn't do that. You can see right here, one to one. One to one, I don't know what's happened, but it has made 652,000 liters of, of both, which is cool, but that's, that wasn't the point. All right, well, we brought everything over here. I'm gonna show you exactly what is in our silo. Now, after all the work we've done, well, some, some cheaty work, uh, uh, nothing happened. Uh, hey, 1.3 million, a silage 1.2, and straw is at 1.2 as well, which is very, very good. Uh, and for some reason, there's still uh, stuff in there. Don't know why. Anyway, uh, let's come through here. We need to make some TMR. I don't know how much TMR I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna start by trying to do like 30, 30, 35%. I think that might work. So let's go, hey, we're gonna put 35% in here. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with silage. So again, the idea of the 30, 35, 35 with straw. I don't, I don't, man, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but it, it, it might. Yeah, it might, <laughs> it should. It's kind of the thing, we've got so much straw that I need to use as much as I possibly can in here. So this should do it. Uh, yeah, numbers are looking fun. Please don't go to, oh. Um, that's about as far as we can go. I I don't, uh, yep. That, I don't feel comfortable going any further than that. I know we're at 97%, but still, that's, that's on up there, man. That's on up there. All right, we'll pull through here. We'll go ahead and feed the cattle. And yes, I have swapped out the tractor I'm using with this. Was the 5R, loved it, or 5M rather. Now I'm using the 6R. And we'll go ahead and do the exact same for these cows as well. I don't know if we're gonna, um, yep, there it is. Okay, let's double check everybody, make sure the cattle is good. Million liters, million liters, and we have half a million liters of slurry. We should probably do something with that before we do any harvesting, which will probably be in the next one. I'm just gonna back this guy in here and we'll put it away. Then we're gonna have a little five series. We'll do something about all of this Slurry. Since the cell point that I'm using is going to be at the other farm, we are going to fill up here. And I was going to say we'll grab from the other one, but I got stuck on the spigot outside. <laughs> For some reason, everything's just still everywhere with that mower up there. I have no idea what happened. Yo, that goes down quick. Yo, all right. So that is good. How much are we going to get? Is it over half a mil? It is. Very cool, man. Very cool. And I'll just take it here and back it up. The thing is, I would take this to a production chain and do something with it, but unfortunately, I don't, I, I don't think there's anywhere to go with it. Let's see, cake, do do do. Slurry should be in here somewhere. Yeah, see, I could take you the BGA and sell it for literally the same amount that I could sell it right here. Eventually, maybe we'll do something with the BGA. I don't know, but this will make us some money. It's not going to be a lot. <laughs> but it's at least some. Here, we'll show you guys. There you go. Uh, 54 grand for basically a whole year's worth of slurry. Not a lot. Not a lot, if I'm honest. And if I'm also honest, uh, these flowers are beautiful. 
<laughs> They're absolutely beautiful. But the next one, we are going to have some fun. We're going to get some harvesting done. Uh, maybe get some fertilizer done as well. And then maybe preparing what's going to be for the next harvest. Today, we are doing harvest. We have got a big old field of rye. We've got some linseed, which turns out is not purple flowers after all. It was not done growing yet. And we've got a couple fields up here. These may look like they've been harvested, but they haven't. We've got some filled beans here. I think this is four fields. Four pretty decent sized fields of filled bean. I could probably plow those together if I could pull those hedges up. Nonetheless, we're going to have some fun. One thing that I have noticed is that rye either... I never noticed it or something, but rye is now in the grain mill. So we're going to be taking all of our rye over there to the grain mill. I don't know where to take the other stuff. It looks like the linseed is just a completely sell it and can't be used for production. So that's fine. And then filled beans, I'm kind of seeing the same thing here. It doesn't look like we're able to take this to any production chain or anything like that. So uh, those will just be sold off immediately. But the rye will be further processed. So let's have a little bit of fun and I've kind of got my, my poor combine harvesters backed into a corner. This is actually going to be pretty fun because I think it's been since the first one or two episodes since I've done field beans. So this is kind of exciting. We'll double check, make sure there's nothing we need to do. I don't believe field beans give you straw and none of the production chains are not production chains. None of the third party mods I've got installed should add this. So. Yeah, also it's a little bit dark. We are kind of still morning-ish in November. It's not going to be the brightest outside, but I'm doing my best here. Uh, we've also got some grass that has grown a little bit overnight, which is good, but I think we're probably just going to let that be. We may try and mow it in December, January, depending on if it's even around. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm not using a Geo or anything like that. It's a Geo. Well, those are the that thing of the past. I'm not doing anything with the crop calendar. I've got actually growth turned off, and I just monitor and kind of utilize it the way that I want to. I'm kind of mirroring the U.S. Midwest Geo from farming simulators of past. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, also, I think I'm just going to drive straight through here again. Yeah, that, that worked. There's no straw, so I'm really not too worried about it. And it's not like I'm going to hire a worker on any of this. We're, we're just harvesting, man. We're just harvesting. And we head straight across into the new section of the field right here. This is the section that when it wasn't here the last time, we kind of had to go around it and it did not do well for us. Here, however, this is good. I wanted to get, bring you guys along just so you could see this. It's the first time we've done anything with it. I didn't even mow it whenever it was a grass field. So uh yeah there uh there you go and then we just kind of pick up here for round two so let's uh let's go all the way around we're at sixteen thousand liters right now which you would look at and say that's oh, pretty good yeah that's that's going around two edges of four fields so i don't actually know if it's good or bad i don't know we'll see when we get around a second time whoops kind of doubled uh thirty thousand liters i mean it's not it's not terrible again i i have no idea if this is good or or, or bad I, I don't know how, about field beans yep uh, i don't know let's finish harvesting all four of these fields and see what we get okay well here we are we've got eighty-eight thousand nine hundred and twenty-three liters that's pretty good i think and all of these fields is done it was actually really quick you can see a couple spots where i turned around stuff like that what i ended up doing was of course we started uh where's the Oh, over here. So we started here, of course, went all the way around and then back up like that and rejoined it. Well, after doing that, I think about three times, I ended up just kind of going back and forth through here. And then I got kind of a straight edge here. So went back and forth through there. And that's what brought us to that point right there. <laughs> there you go. Now time, well, I would say to do a little bit of carting, but we need to go take this and sell it. So we have our field beans, but now we need to figure out where in the world we're going to take it. Let's see, 2135, 2150, ooh, 24, hello, 25, hey, and there it is, tag the place, town stores. Where in the world is town stores? All the way down here. I think we've been there before. Yeah, right here. <laughs> hey oh, we've been here a couple times. Uh, also, I've always tried to go over this area. This has been so... Did you see that? I like ran into something. Hang on. 
we're gonna pull up our F5 menu real quick and figure out what's going on. Um, that is, is it the edge of the map? Um, I don't, I don't actually know what, what that meant, but yeah, I think that's the edge of the map. I don't think we're actually able to go through, through the, yeah, because that's where the, that little r line right there, the oxygen David puts those in. Okay, well, uh, remind me not to try and jump that again, because that was a bad idea. We're just going to come through here and sell this. This is going to be some good money, too, dude. Yeah, all right. Pull it in. Bam, bam. Dump it out. I don't remember how long this trailer takes to unload. It is very quick. All right, so there is 50,000, 30, and money. $224,000. Cool. Let's go do that linseed. All right, so now we got to jump in here. Oh, did I really just turn that off? I did. Let's go forward. And I also want to make sure that we turn that straw swath back on just in case. I don't, I don't actually know what's going to happen here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Let's pull through. Uh, please. Okay, good. Crop destruction's turned off. This is a tough map to use really big equipment on, so I've completely turned crop destruction just off because there's no way to do it. Uh, let's see. Let's start... And we can start down here at the bottom of the field. It'll help us turn around once ever we get back down to the bottom. And are we good? I think we're good. Turn it on. Rock and roll. Uh, let's see. Straw swath is on. It's it's dropping a swath. <laughs> hey! Well, that's kind of cool. Linseed, man. Yeah. I don't think I've harvested linseed yet. This is uh, an interesting thing. It's kind of new. How much are we getting? decent amount. I mean, it's not crazy. Also, what is linseed anyway? Uh, I'm not familiar with that. No, yeah, nonetheless, so uh, let's run, uh, run a little Helen. Just looks like it's like any other crop. Yeah, and we're done. There you go. Uh, 24,000 liters. Again, I have no idea if that's good or not, but, but I'm done. So that's good. Yeah, all right, now let's cart this out and figure out where in the world we're gonna sell it. So the best price here is going to be Gordon Center. The unfortunate part is it is way up at the top right hand corner. We are here. There's really no straight road. We've done this before, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna just go straight across a bunch of fields or not. I think what I'm gonna try and do is go straight across enough until we can hit a road without having to come through a go over water because that was fun in a four-wheeler it's not going to be fun in this well i found a couple bridges got across some water and we are straight on ready to rock all i got to do is stay on this road and we're good that was pretty easy and we're here hey oh, oh, oh. and we're here yeah without crashing into totally anything pricing on this not insane but it is going to be okay it's going to sell pretty quickly as well yeah there you go we're done um, 29,000. Not, n not really good enough to do linseed again. Yeah. And we are back over here now. So here's going to be the game plan for this setup. Number one, I need to set this card over here because we're probably going to need it eventually. There we go. We got that. I turned the combine off again. Come on, DJ. Get it together, man. Can I turn these lights off? I it's good enough. It looks better on the monitor than it does on, on the gameplay, but it's fine. So we'll come through here. We'll double check just to make sure that our straw swath is enabled. Yes, it is. And we will start. This is going to be one of those. I'm going to try and run two headlands. I'm probably going to have to doctor it up a little bit down at the bottom. But once we do that, we'll hire this on a worker. Let them go back and forth for us while we pick up the straw and do a little bit of carting as well as picking stuff up from the other field. So we still got straw there too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the one that we've got or I'm just gonna say, forget about it and get the, the big one. Or we may get an attachment. Ooh, we could do that. So here we are after the headlands and I have no idea what to do here. Generally, I line it up and make a beeline that way and then just kind of fill this in and then let him do his thing that way i think that's probably what i'm gonna do again it's just yeah we gotta get down there yep we all right here's the spot we've got a little bit going on to the left a little bit going on to the right 
I think in order to hit this, we can kind of see some straight lines here in the field. What I'm gonna do is just try and line this up here and then try and get it to a point where it'll hire a worker on this line. I think about right there, hire the worker. To do it, to do it. Uh, not, not exactly the, the, the line. There, you, you going? God, these guys are idiots. So this is the line that it's supposed to go on. I know a lot of people like the MTA or multi-terrain angle. I hate it. I hate it so much, it's so unpredictable. It's like, oh yeah, we could do more lines. Figure it out, Just use a mod or something. I like use the workers and multi-terrain angle sucks for workers. Urgh. All right, I'm gonna go rage quit for a minute, go get some coffee and come back. I'm not better now, but God, that's such, oh, it's so stupid. Ah, oh, it should have been almost straight with this. Look, this is a straight line. Even in the ground, you can see it. He's like, nope, I'm going that way. And am I gonna do that? No. And you know what, just for that, I'm using my, my straw pickup. I don't even care anymore. All right, line this up appropriately, maybe with the, the lines in the field. Right about there, yeah. I think that's straight on enough. Yes. You see that? He almost wasted an entire row just for this crap. Oh, rabble. And of course, we got to come all the way back over here just to make this happen. I think this will reach the other side. Should have worked perfectly fine the first time. Um, so I'm just going to keep complaining until uh, it's not annoying anymore. I don't know. Uh, there's that. We do need to do a bit of carting. So... Let's grab this and of course he's gonna add to the size of that pile right there. Let's head up here. We'll do a bit of carding. Let's see if I can get through here. Yeah, there we go. We'll do this and then remember all of this is going up to the green mill. So I could go ahead and take that literally right now with no issues, no problems, nada. And finally the worker's doing what I tell them to do. Cool. Um, and yeah, we are, uh, I think now we're to the point I'm going to get rid of the, uh, what you call it, the other thing. I'm gonna get rid of the, the loading wagon that we've got and we'll get my cheaty one. I think we're to that point. Hate to see it go, but it is just not efficient anymore. Oh, Madonna, you make an awesome mod and you did a really good job with that. Let's save it. Let's head down here. <laughs> Let's cheat like we always do. What are you gonna do, right? Uh, configuration, we'll stick with the standard, the one mil. I don't really know what's in the field. Sometimes weird things happen. So yeah, that'll be perfectly fine. Uh, wheel brands, I think I'm using Michelin's for this setup or or maybe Trellebork, I don't know. Windrow system, that's good. Uh, most of this stuff's gonna go to John Deere. So design, the regular bit, but the rim colors, of course, well, that's obvious. And there it is. Also, uh, it doesn't have brakes for some reason. So it decides to, We'll do what it wants to do when it wants to do it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Grab it, drop it down, turn it on, go, go, go. I have seen people ask me about this. Uh, this is a third party mod um, and you can, I think it's from Papa Smurf. They, I think they did the conversion of this into FarmSim 22. I downloaded this like a week after 22 released and modified it and I haven't updated it since. So, yeah, uh, easy to find. Um, just the rapid windrow. It's not magic, but boy, oh boy, is it awesome. All right, so there's that. And then now we get to do this. We'll go ahead and run the full headland around this, and then we'll just start kind of going back and forth until we catch up with the harvester. I think the harvester could probably finish this field on his own, so I'm not going to force... Uh, force too much on it. I'm not going to take over or anything like that. I'm just letting him do his thing. Also, uh, yes, all of those po uh, the poles are invisible. It's kind of nice. We have our first load of rye and the, well, the second load's probably going to be <laughs> 15,000. So don't expect too much. <laughs> the field's almost done. We'll bring it through here. We'll drop it off. There you go. Going in. There's the rye. Yeah, you can see day ain't much so let's go down into our production chains we'll take a look at it uh and that is turned on good 150 and 113 that's awesome it's not gonna make a bunch but hey it'll be more than zero i'll take more than zero that's pretty cool oh spin around best backwards driver and and okay forwards driver and farm sim oh yeah the final bit here we go we just gonna hit it at first person because well i'm not gonna miss anything 
Yeah. Nice. All right, cool. So there's that. Then we've got 23,000 more liters. So that's 123,000 liters. Should give us uh, some. some. Yep, some flour. And some flour is... That's better than no flour, I guess. And with that, this harvest is over. Boom, boom, boom. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. I'm going to go ahead and take this. We'll put it back at the other farm. And then we'll worry about getting the rest of the straw up, which uh, is just these two little bits. Uh, and then we've got to take the other to cart. And then we'll be good to go. Why in the world... That is so confusing. Final number of straw comes to 57,500. 57,575,646. I did bad at that. That was really bad. <laughs> Why is the dog all the way over here? I swear the dog, all these oxy maps, the dogs just get further and further away. All right, we'll put this in here. We'll see how much straw we've got. It's, it's really just a ridiculous amount at this point. Uh, the good thing is, at least, we are utilizing the straw as filler. How much do we have? Uh, 1.5 million liters. That seems like a lot. The last rye is going in. Best backwards driver for There we go. Just a little bit too quick. That's all. Just a little bit too quick. Truck of Matsy, you didn't see anything. Drop it off. There we go. All right. So now we've got rye in here. Boom, there. It is going through the rye pretty quickly. So that's kind of nice. We'll take this and we will put this over at the main farm and... And I think from there we need to maybe figure out what crops are going to go in the fields, but we don't actually need to do that now we could do it tomorrow in game if we want to but i don't i don't i don't know we'll figure that out i have made the decision we are going to get some planting done today it's midday in november so we've got plenty of time to do it and i am going to do some grass work in december but we will probably do that off screen as well that's it, it i did that last episode and i'll do it again in the next one probably so so we're gonna skip one <laughs> I'm just going to get a little bit of work done. Uh, we've got some fertilizing to do here. Uh, the crops, I'm actually not quite sure what I'm going to put down yet. I am going to have to make that decision. I've been looking through, you know, of course, we just did the new crops that came with this, uh, th this map. I thought about doing like a weird one, doing like some corn with uh, other stuff. But the thing is, like, we can't really use corn. We can't really use any of the crops other than grass that we have. So it makes me wonder, like, okay, if we can't utilize any crops other than grass, well, then we need to do something that makes us money. I got it figured out. I'm going to need a judge free zone. The answer's on the screen right now if you want to look. Uh, we're going grass and oats, man. It is my favorite combo. You can pretty much do whatever you want with both of those crops. And especially if you have cattle, you could just do grass and oats constantly and be perfectly fine i mean of course if you want to do silage in a different way but you could do that but i prefer grass silage i think it makes things a little bit easier so that's what we gotta do so oats in all of the crop fields and then grass will be done in the uh well the grass fields that we already have we're gonna get a lot of oats one other great thing about the oats is we don't use them for the cattle we need the straw so We'll take that, we'll deliver it over to the grain mill, and we'll make a bunch of bread. Because that's so stereotypical for me, it ain't even funny. There's one other thing to note that I'd completely forgotten about until just now. If we go in and take a look at our animals real quick, uh, not the sheep, but the cattle. So, they're both 26 months old, and that's good. We're at reproduction rate of 80%. Cool, again, perfectly fine. But if we go over here and look at the bottom right hand corner when we get near the cattle area, it's going to show us something at the bottom. Offspring in two months. Right now, we are staying. That is inside the tractor. Uh, right now, we're staying within reason with grass fields that we have. I am guessing eventually we're probably going to have to swap this field that's in front of us. We're probably going to have to make this a grass field as well. I just don't know. I mean, we're going to go from 250, no, 500 cattle to 1,000 head of cattle in, in two days in January. So I foresee issues 
with that. I don't know what the problems are going to be. I don't know if we're going to have enough food or not. Uh, one thing I know is that right now we do. So that's a good thing. But we may not later on down the road. So one or two of these fields may have to swap over to a grass field. I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, I also mentioned that we could buy the TMR. I... I, I, I made that decision and said, yes, we're going to buy the TMR, but I'm, I'm kind of enjoying doing the work. I don't really want to waste the time with that. Plus, we'd just be spending the money on other crops that make the money for us. Maybe that's what we need to do. I don't know. Uh, drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Should we buy that TMR or not? Uh, I don't know. The Funny enough, the video that I mentioned that we would buy the TMR. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's coming out about... Uh, a week from now when I'm recording this I'm recording stuff a little bit early I don't know man I don't know either way I do know that uh, I think for right now we are going to be done with this one hope you enjoyed it drop a like do all the good good stuff spin this round yay yeah there we go all right cool uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get all this stuff done and then we'll fast forward today and i'll go ahead and get all the grass up so that we've got that ready to go um and hopefully we'll see you guys in january uh we'll uh we'll kind of see what happened with cattle once we go from 250 or 250 500 up to a thousand today we're going to be taking a look at some animals i've gone in and done a few modifications so we're going to be buying rabbits oh yeah we're going to be buying i think maybe pigs i'm not quite sure they don't really do anything except create more pigs and slurry maybe maybe slurry's worth it i don't know nonetheless we're going to take a look at some of that additionally we have cattle we've got 500 cattle 500 sheep Oh man, actually we have a thousand head of cattle total. I need to go in and increase that number some more so that we have some more room. Right now that's all we've got. Uh, milk is eh, bit messed up, but slurry is through the roof. We've got about 250,000 liters of slurry. I definitely think we need to sell some of that. It's a good time of the year for it as well. Plus, now we have chicken so we are gonna go in um we're we're not gonna get the smaller uh, chickens but we are gonna get the six month old chickens that way we could start getting eggs and a lot of eggs so not bad through there and chickens are everywhere now one thing that i have done just in case is i've set this to only show 20 of them uh, i think it only holds like 30 or 50 to begin with and now it holds 500 i didn't want to run into any problems so yeah, we're, we're good through there. Now, the good thing is about all this is chickens produce eggs. That's good. Actually, grain. They need grain or else they're going to die. Are you going to die? You know what? I don't know what y'all were doing. <laughs> let's get away from, from that. I'm not sure that belonged on YouTube. So let's take this. We're going to fill up with, uh, with grain. And then I think we need to finally put down a purchase point for grain or at least buy a pallet or something because... We're going to need to feed these guys, and they're going to be pretty darn hungry. Uh, I've got it set to hold 1 million liters of food for them. That's probably too much. And I understand that that's probably too much. But I figured, I was like, well, worst things that happen is everything's a million liters. So everybody holds a mill. Here's that problem I was talking about. That's only 7,000 liters. That is not going to be enough by a long shot to feed to our 500 head of chicken. Probably going to jump that up to a thousand now that i've figured out how to modify these we'll go ahead and take this drop it off i think it's back here start over overloading wheat take that nice all right chickens have got it now i need to find some more the best thing to do in this scenario would be to put down a purchase point for something like this so we have multi-fruit buying station right here we also have the uh, pv placeable mod but i think that's everything free and i don't want it to be free i just want it to work good enough uh there is a little spot right here i'm not quite sure do we want to put it like this or maybe we put it on the other side of this and then figure it out actually even better spot right here on the other side of this so let's see if i can zoom out enough but in enough to where i could see kind of everything and everywhere where this is that's about good right there and i just want to put it in a way where it's not going to clip through anything maybe like right here yeah i think that'll be good and bam I think I messed up. Turns out, no, nope, didn't mess up. Just uh, <laughs> accidentally deleted some of the snow. That's perfectly fine. Hey, and it's right here as well. So we can uh, back around, pull up to it, buy what we need. We need wheat. I don't know how much. I don't want to buy a million liters of it because, well, that's just, that's too much. But but we do need some uh, amount. Uh, let's see. How, how expensive is that? 
It's not terrible. I don't know. Let's see. There's 30,000 divided by three. What was that? Like 40, 40 some hundred dollars? It's not bad. Uh, we'll buy 100,000 liters of it. Why not? I was about to say, I don't know how I stopped it at perfectly 100,000 liters, but I'll never be able to do that again. But I totally forgot. This trailer only holds 100,000 liters. <laughs> and I forgot to look and see how much it cost me. But you know what? Whatever. We'll take this over here. It's going to dump it out fairly quickly. And now the chickens will have plenty of feed to get them going, at least. Uh, productivity, really not worried about that because can't produce any more of them. Only holds 500. But like I said, I think it'd probably be a good idea to go through and double these numbers. Next on my list are rabbits. Now, these I'm not quite familiar with, so we're not going to go with a baby rabbit. We're just going to go with a regular rabbit. It says baby rabbits go into adults and adult rabbits exist. Uh, I don't know what they produce. I don't know anything about rabbits. So I'm going to buy one and then see what they produce. Um, of course, rabbits produce more rabbits. How could I have been so idiotic? Uh, let's sell that. <laughs> That's not really going to work for us. Now, I mentioned pigs as well, but uh, yeah, these guys only produce manure and water and uh, slurry. And uh, the slurry is really not priority number one. And manure, I'm not even sure there's a manure pit in here. So, you know, I'm not even going to worry about it. Just little bay piggies exist. And, and let's move on. Speaking of moving on, let's go ahead and move on to not only the next day in game, but let's go ahead and move forward maybe to uh, March or April, something like that, where the weather's going to be a little bit nicer. Maybe we can go through and harvest a few things. Speaking of, it's been like, I don't know, a week or two since I recorded, and I don't remember what's what. What, what do we have? What do we need? What do we do? Uh, we've got... <laughs> is that oats? Of course we're doing oats and grass. And it is now April. We fast forwarded a few months. I have gone in and go ahead and made all of the animal pens 1,000 head. Even the uh, the pigs and these guys, the little rabbits. Uh, for some reason, every time I try and modify something with the horses, things go wild and crazy. So we're not going to worry about that. But we do have a lot of stuff that we need to find homes for. Like these eggs. We have a bunch of eggs. <laughs> I don't know where to put them. Additionally, we have 30,000 liters of wool. I don't... I don't know where to, to take that either. One other cool thing, we've got all of this. Is that a burp? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, we've got a bunch of fields that are ready to be harvested. I know that I kind of harvest in every single episode, so we'll we'll just see what happens with that. We're going to take care of a lot of the other stuff that we're doing first. And jumping down here to the bakery real quick, we've got, see, 18,000 liters, almost 19,000 liters uh, in storage that are kind of doing the thing right now. And we've got 1,000 liters of flour left in there so we've got that too um that's going down i don't know how fast that's gonna go down it's kind of taking its dandy time so let's go up and let's start getting stuff away from the cattle milk and slurry milk is first and good thing is uh well we've got everything kind of like <laughs> stacked up right there one thing that i did notice is the cattle haven't really made any milk throughout the springtime they've made a little bit extra but it is not what we are used to seeing. I think, what was it, January? We had a, what, 123, 126,000 liters in each pen. Well, now it's only going up by like six to 10,000 in each. Nonetheless, we've still got a lot of milk here. So we'll finish this up. Shouldn't take us over, what, 26? Yeah, yeah, there you go. 260 some thousand liters. Now the thing is, too, it's still a lot. That is a whole lot of milk. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and drop that out. We will need to double check this just to make sure that everything is good. So butter, cheese, and raw milk all setting to sell. Good things. All right. And it's already working. Cool. Now we need slurry. The good thing about trying to get slurry and then uh, trying to do milk and everything is I can go between one farm and just kind of leave this at one of them. And then every other day or every other time, rock and roll get what you need uh, there's a lot of slurry though it's gonna be i think two to three times the amount of milk that we had that's uh, gonna sell for one percent of what the milk will if that yeah there you go Three hundred fifty-two thousand liters of slurry that's a lot time to get slurry set up number two so total we have seven hundred and four thousand liters of slurry that's pretty darn good uh, unfortunately we don't have the bga here yet as a matter of fact i guess we could go look at that because we have more money than we know what to do with you know honestly i know it's gonna make other stuff but i would have to put in silage i would also have to put in all kinds of other stuff just to make this work properly and at 100 percent and it's just not gonna happen especially for buying it for eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars 
even in this entire series, we'll never make our money back. So we will take it to the sell point that I've got right here on the main farm and we'll sell it here for a decent profit. Really, it's chicken feeds what we're selling it for. And that's about what we'll be able to afford as well as $77,000 for all of that. Not a lot of money there. All right, so now I guess we need to figure out what to do with the eggs and the wool. All right, well, I think I've got an idea. Uh, we're not using this trailer specifically right now, so I figured this would make the perfect trailer to, uh, well, steal. <laughs> There's no flour in it right now. Uh, we do have one down with bread, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that, but we'll figure that part out when we get there. Uh, we've also got... Uh, what, what is it? Uh, wool? Yeah, I, th I think I'm just going to back this up to the wool. So I need to come into the farm from one side and then I got to kick around a few pallets. I'll explain. All right, so here's the fun part. We've got a bunch of eggs up here on our side. The thing is, they're not going to upload or auto load. Well, yeah, they shouldn't auto load anyway. However, if we can get them kind of close ish and let them move around a little bit. Wait, are they really not auto loading? Oh, no, they are. I just have to hold them up maybe <laughs> i don't actually know uh i think the eggs might be a little bit too low cool 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 yeah all right yeah so it turns out the trailer's just a little bit too low to or too high rather to auto load this stuff specifically because the top of the pallet is too uh pulls too low uh the the click point come on just take the darn thing there you go uh yeah so it has to be like above here. At least the top of the pallet does. Let's see if I can show you guys. Uh, you might be able to see where the pallet's got kind of like a, a top to it. Yeah, it's it's gotta be above that. There you go, but you can see is this, it's too low. It's just too low. Now one thing that will make this a little bit easier is if I have a pallet set up all its own. There we go. So now every time eggs drop, this will fill up and then I can actually come behind it with a different pallet and load it up. Very cool. So now we've got eggs, 9,600 liters. That ain't a lot, but now I need to find out where are we going to take the eggs? Is there a good price? 42, 41, 42, give me 43. There are no 43s. We have our spot and it is up here. I believe a new area. I don't know if I've gone up there before. So we need to take our first right after the grain mill and just stay on that road. Well, this will be interesting. Yeah, as far as I can tell, this is a brand new area for me. So I want to kind of bring you guys along and show it to you, <laughs> at least on here. Maybe some of you guys have only seen Court Farms from the view of uh, the videos that I've done on them. I know I, I have a lot of console guys that watch. So hey, if you're on console, give me a little shouty out of the comment section. You guys are awesome. Let's go take a look. So around through here, oh, this is cool. It's like a little, little uh, country pathway oh we would have to go straight through there wait a minute haven't i been here but oh no i've been over there but it's over there but i get to it from here oh i'm like 46 percent sure i've been here before but okay whatever very cool farmer's market very awesome we want to make sure the discharge is facing the way that we want to sell i don't know if it's going to sell in here yep nope this is uh this is the place so uh, and price is good that's a decent, decent amount of money. $41,000 for eggs from three months. Man, I wish it was like that in real life. That'd be sweet. So now I'm back over at the main farm and we've got our wool over here, which is currently not on a trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto load from the discharge spot. Let's see if I can back this thing up, especially with this. It is not the easiest thing to do. This should work. Uh, or, uh, it, uh, shouldn't. Yep. That's, that's, uh, so what it's doing is not working. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. One thing that should work while this is slow is this guy. <laughs> hey, the little John Deere 90. This should actually work. What I should be able to do is pick it up and then set it to, like, unload here. And it should unload directly into the other pallet. I don't, I don't actually know if that will work or not, but this is the way it's worked in the past, I think. Yep, there we go. Okay, so first bot, got that. Bring it over here. Do I get a trigger? Negative. Oh, I do. Oh, it's happening. 
Oh, it's happening! Yeah! What if I drop it down? Is it still working? No! Okay, so I have to be in this. Well, um, I bought it, so at least we know it's working. And we're headed right back to the farmer's market uh, because I don't think there is a spinnery anywhere on the map. It's about to go down! Let's come through here. Let's get this sold. Uh, yeah, this one's going to take a little bit of time, but the money is going up way, way faster. And our final tally is... $114,000. Very cool. There's one more production chain that we need to go and take care of, at least for today. And that's going to be our bakery right down through here. Again, we've got a little bit more here and well, he's going to get a whole lot more as well. So let's see if I can line this up just perfect. Good thing is we can pick these up with our hands. So it's not like it needs anything too wild and crazy. There we go. Put that there. Jump out here. And then take this and just kind of lift it up a little bit. There you go. We had almost 170,000 liters of bread in here. So this is going to be nice. So here you are, 171,000 liters of bread. And uh, awkwardly, uh, it is 54, 5,600 liters or $5,600 per thousand liters. This is going to be an extremely bountiful <laughs> if you want to use that word, an extremely profitable bit right here, unless my math is just absolute hot garbage, like my driving. It's always fun to go through areas like that. Just be like, you know what? Forget this. I'm just going to drive straight through and no one's going to care. Speaking of not caring, uh, I don't know if I've been through here before. Going to come through, open it myself. Yeah, I've definitely never, oops, never been to this cell point before. Very interesting. Uh, no wonder. Is that dude? This dude working. You working, dog? Look at you, man. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, does that have a collision on it? Nope. But it is super, super cool. I remember seeing something like that on, uh, was it Sandy Bay in Farm Sim uh, 19? That is just an awesome little setup through there. All right. Now we sit and wait as the money go higher and higher. Well, I would say the number that we're getting here is very, very good. Ooh, nine hundred and fifty-nine thousand dollars from bread. We have uh, we have sold grocery items very well today, very well. And before I get myself into any trouble, let's go ahead and drop this back off right where we found it, so that way, whenever we get any more flour coming in, which we will definitely be getting some more into uh it'll go right here and i'll not have any problems and i'll not be a complete idiot on screen i've totally not forgot to put that there before not me nope not this guy at all so before we go let's get a game plan together not only to make sure that our animals are all good but also to make sure that we are good and ready to go for harvest well which will probably be tomorrow let's let's face it and be real so these guys have got some grass uh water is very very high with these so cheapy little poos here we go so 60 percent on the uh the big guys there that'll be fun because they will sh or should at least uh make some more that'll be nice and then taking a look over here we've got 37 percent so that's gonna be a while we'll probably get three uh three litters out of these guys litters so are they called litters i don't know three three sets of duplications and we'll be good there food's a little bit low but we'll probably come back through here and feed our sheep later next is going to be the cattle so other than basically mirroring everything with the 30 and 16 at the bottom uh we have the three month 31 month etc etc uh milk is zero straw is zero slurry is zero straw is always going to be at zero we're not worried about that uh, but we do have tmr which is nice and high as for the other guys exactly the same zero 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 and then the tmr is nice and high we want that and then it looks like we'll probably be getting maybe an extra set of cattle i don't know maybe i'll go in here and make these ten thousand cattle for per pet and make it like farm sim uh, 17 and then we can take a look at our chickens here so we've got uh 50 on there so we have uh they're nine months old six months should take three months so three more months will double our uh chicken amount it doesn't say what oh yeah we have 500 and then we've got room for another 500 so bob uh, there you go i think that's 
That answers our questions, at least for the animals. And of course, in able to feed these guys, we need to harvest some stuff. So we've got all of our grain fields ready to be harvested. All of our grass fields are ready for harvest as well. Of course, grain, we're going to use our combine harvester. If you missed the last episode, we did get rid of a lot of equipment that we had sitting around. That's why the money is so high right now. Uh, speaking of the money, uh, I know where the money is. Where's my my mowers they gotta be around here somewhere don't they did i put them in here nope did i put them in here no mowers no mowers uh did i nope they're not there did i put them in here nope did i put them around the front no where in the world are the mowers they are here in the middle of a silo <laughs> cool 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 so that is uh, basically everything that we need to get together for the next episode here on Court Farms. That is going to be episode number 17, which is very cool. We are rocking and moving along and getting very close to another supercut. So if you guys want to see all those? Stay tuned. Today is the beginning of episode number 17. We've only got a couple more to go. We're going to be going through episode number 20 and then... Maybe once this is out for all platforms later on, we will check it out again. In the meantime, we're going to be moving around a little bit, but we've got some stuff to do today. There's a lot that needs to be done, so we need to set a schedule, set a goal for the end of the video. We've got, was that, five fields that need to be harvested here. We've also got a bunch of grass that needs to be cut. All of that's going to be done today in game anyway, April, but it's probably going to take two episodes to get all of that done. Plus, we have our animals to double check, make sure that everything is done and ready to go there. And then uh, finally, maybe spending a little bit of money. We're going to start with spending some money. And that's going to be right here. So currently I'm using the Lizard Titan Draper Hedda. This guy right here. We jump in. Of course, uh, that is not the way I customize that. Hang on a minute. Why is this black? This was green the last time I was over here. <laughs> What's going on with this thing, man? Hey, hang on. What in the world? Yeah, maybe I'm not going to sell this thing after all. So there was a new header that came out, but I don't remember having to change the colors up on this. See, John Deere green. Color here, John Deere green. What? Ha yeah, that's that's what I wanted right there. Wait, that rim color's off. What is that? Gloss yellow. Uh, there we go. Much better now. Uh, yeah, I forgot that this had the header uh, built into it, so there was a new one that came out this week. It's this guy, the Klus Comfy Flex 1380, but multi-brand. The only issue with this one is it doesn't have a header trailer, so forgot about that part. We're not going to go with it, but I figured I'd show it to you anyway. This is kind of neat because it gives you a larger setup for a header. Now, obviously, I think there's a John Deere that's like 15 meters, right? I think, oh gosh, I don't even remember now. We'll have to go back and look at that. Uh, but you can change these colors up. So we got John Deere there, John Deere there, the real. We can change that. Nope, don't like that. Let's go John Deere there as well. That's Doid's Far. Come on, DJ, get, you, get your stuff together, man. Yeah, John Deere. Uh, well, John Deere enough anyway. There's still some red down there. Yeah, I can't really beat that 15.2 meter working with. It's at six mile an hour working speed that gets me every time. So I say we get a little bit of work done in the fields. I haven't done anything in a while with that, so... Let's do it. Let's get everything unfolded. Oh, we should probably get out of here first. <laughs> oh, move. Uh, the last time we came through, we went and did these at a different way. So these fields right here, this is where we at. I ended up going all the way around all of these fields just like that. It worked out pretty well. Didn't really cause too many trouble. So we're going to do that again today. I know there's quite a few of you guys that set this up the way that I do at home. So I want to show you how I did it. Let's let's do that. That was uh, one thing that I wanted to do extra in this episode was show you more of how I do things instead of just doing it off screen and getting it out of the way. There may be a little bit more rambling than usual, but hey, we can talk about what's going on in the world of farming simulator while we're at it. So as of going, I'm utilizing the Real Speed Limit mod. Uh, that is a mod that is out, unfortunately, only for PC. But if you've got this header, you can do it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so actually, I think if you use this header with the Colossus, you could go uh, 60 miles an hour. And I'm, I'm stuck at 26. So who's unrealistic now? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> a lot has changed over the past week at Farm Sim. We've got American Falls, which is out. I'd love to do some stuff with that. We've got the Colossus, which got updated to just the most unrealistic stuff I've ever seen. And I love it. 
uh, and the 1982 got updated as well. There's a lot going on this week. Uh, Farm Sim Show was a lot of fun. Check that out if you haven't seen it. If you're watching this four years later, hey, uh, uh, we used to do a podcast. We probably canceled it. I don't know. <laughs> so again, all the way around, rocking and rolling, doing good. Uh, this straw is going to be saved. Oh, missed a little bit. Well, we'll give that to the deer. The straw is going to be saved. We'll put that in our silo. Uh, we don't need it. Not in the least bit. As a matter of fact, we have $3.5 million. More money than I could ever want, need, or, or do anything with in game or in real life. This is more than enough to do whatever you need to do. But you can see how I've gone around. Um, I do recommend, especially with larger headers, anything over about I don't know, six to seven meters, you need to run at least two headlines. Uh, anything over or under six or seven, you should probably run three. It'll give you enough room to turn around, do what you need to do at the end. Uh, I try not to stop as much as possible unless there's like a really awkward right angle. You see, kind of went in right there. Also, uh, drink us a farmer cup coffee. Not a plug, just real good coffee. Figured I'd let you know. So that is the first headland. Now we're gonna run our second one back around in a circle. Yeah. All right, we got everything done. 38,000 liters in here on our headland. Uh, we do have a little spot right here in the middle. So this is where we've stopped. We get a little bit right here. I don't. I don't actually know what to do with this this little guy right here. Maybe we continue through. Man, I don't I don't know. Uh, what I am going to do is we'll just do that. We'll continue through, and then I'm going to hit the bottom of this field. We're going to go back and forth on the bottom of the field. It's a lot easier to do it that way. Um, I've thought a little bit about how I'm farming on here, and obviously, uh, Oxygen David did not it did not uh, well probably doesn't approve the way i farm on this beautiful map uh but i don't think he expected anyone to try and drive through all these hedges either that being said if you farm the way i do it works so uh yeah whenever you're done with everything come down here to the bottom of the field and you can easily just drive straight across and then you can just go back and forth which is exactly what i'm gonna do we'll come down here to the end you can see where it kind of cuts up a little bit to the right Yep, we're just gonna pull straight through there, turn around, and go back. And I'll show you, just like this. Boom, stop it, back it up a little bit so that the straw is at a nice even pile so we can pick that up later on, because we're definitely gonna do that. And then flip it this, just like that. Yeah, yeah, and, and now all we gotta do is go back and forth. Can't really hire workers doing it this way, but you can enjoy farming doing it this way. <laughs> or I don't, I don't know, I do, I love doing this. <laughs> So I'd love to tell you that we made it all the way through that field, but unfortunately, that just didn't happen. So let's jump in our big old seminar right here. Man, I love this thing. It's been such a cool tractor. It's been a lot of fun using John Deere vehicles and equipment that I don't normally use. Of course, we use some green stuff here quite often. Kind of go back and forth between this and some red stuff. We may have to go blue in the next round. Uh, I think we may have to do something like that. Hey, uh, yeah, let me know. What uh, what kind of tractors, or should we just go rando? Obviously, uh, we've kind of probably beat green and red tractors to death, I think, at this point. Uh, I've done some massy stuff as well with Valley of the Old Farm. Probably need to go back to that, but yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if we will or not. We'll find out and see. Unless, what do you guys think? Should we go New Holland? There's not a bunch of New Holland stuff, but the stuff that is there is pretty good. Huh? Let's see. All right. We'll jump back in here, we'll keep it going. And that's what it looks like when you're all set and finished up. We got an extra 17,000 liters off here. And do remember what we had before? I think it was like 94, 95, somewhere around there. I wanted to hit it before we ended up filling up in the middle of the field. Also deleted a couple trees, because they were all up in my way. <laughs> so there we go. We are uh, not empty, 12,000 liters left. Good thing is we don't have to go very far and I'm not even gonna go there the right way. I'm gonna go there the wrong way. Let's set that cruise to 32, and we're gonna go right over there where that windmill is. So oats and grass. You guys know I like doing oats and grass. We're gonna take this over to our grain mill, put the oats in there, make us some flour, and you know what I'm making from there. I ain't even got to tell you. Of course, you got the best backwards driver in farm sim. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. There you go, drop it in, and we're done, more or less. We gotta go get some more, but and we got more fields. We're not done. <laughs> so big question, why do I prefer header that don't have header trailers that have this stuff built in? Well, because it's so much easier to get from point A to point B with it like this. In Farm Sim 19, we had, I think it was the Lizard Headers Pack, something like that, where we actually had 
like the big version that came with the, I think it was the Ideal Harvester, and we had a version that came with the Raw Smash. Both of them had low header trailers built in, and we could just pull straight between one and the other. Actually, it would be really cool if someone could take that Raw Smash for Farm Sim 19 and convert it into Farming Simulator 22. I miss that header. I could use that on a lot of the smaller combine harvesters that I have, but but I don't I don't have it, so I can't use it. I, I want it. Can I have that back? That'd be sweet. So not a lot, but we still have a couple more harvesters or fields to harvest rather. The big one is actually fairly easy. You just run two headlands and then you hire a worker up on it. Makes things nice and easy for you. This one is a little bit different. Can't use a worker on this one. As a matter of fact, you can't really use a worker on a lot of the fields on this map. It just kind of is what it is. There's really nothing you can do to get around it. Also, don't know if you've seen the last episode or not. If you have not seen episode 16, uh, I did go in and we changed up a lot of the animal pens. So now they hold a thousand. Um, they hold a million liters of food and all kinds of other stuff. So I've, I've got a, a really good grasp on being able to have a lot of animals. That being said, well, we don't really have enough time to, I don't think, make any more. So <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's finish up this field. We'll get everything ready to go for the big field. Rock and roll, baby. Here we go. This is the last bit for this field specifically, and I think we could probably piggyback off of this straw swath. There you go. We'll just drop it along there. Perfect. Now, got to Yeah, let's go right here. The tipper. I didn't put the other 12,000 liters into the, uh, the green mill yet. We'll do that later on. Not too worried about it. Let's bring this over. We'll get it undone, and then we will try and figure out how I'm going to do this field again. I know I said that as soon as you drop it up, uh, well, you can easily just hire a worker and go from there. But there's always this little area back here, way off in the distance. That area. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to try. Ugh, last time it didn't work well. So come along with me as I try and sort this field and maybe do it the right way. Finally, once or five, I don't know. Dude, every time I do this field, I do it wrong. So we'll cut through here, cut the corner, through there. Nice racing line if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Farming simulator. Yo, speaking of racing line, we got new wheels coming. Got new wheel pedal, side pedal, everything. Gonna be releasing in November. I think it's November 16th, 2023. So if you're watching this way off of the distance, the Hori Wheel Farming Simulator, uh, farming control kit, whatever. Hey, let me know how you like it. Uh, until then, it ain't out yet. I don't have my hands on one either, so we'll have to figure all that out. Uh, I am going to try and line up with the lines in the field that we've made. I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Man, did I really not... <laughs> come on, come on. There you go. I'm telling you, man, this field's a curse. It's just the size. It's the largest field on the map, which makes things super nice because it's close to the main farm, so you can get in here and get some work done. But then you've got areas like this that are just so difficult to, to control and get in there and, and just do it all. It's a it's an awesome map. Don't get me wrong. Just this field gets me every time. There ain't nothing wrong with it. You see stuff like this in real life all the time. So we'll come around through here. Again, this is going to be one of those things where we run two headlands uh, back and forth through here, forward, and stop. There you go. And now we got to run up all the way to the top and we'll do it again um maybe in reverse that might be oh you know what that's the way to do it yeah so we've come up through here i'm gonna spin this bad boy around uh-huh this is the way to do it right here now i am still gonna have to well finish up here because we're gonna run in a, a complete circle around the whole field and we will have to go back down to the bottom but I think this is gonna work. And we gotta hire a worker on him this time too, because, well, that's the way it is. Oh, this is gonna stink. All right, this is how we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna overlap just a little bit, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. And you can see in the field, we got lines, straight lines. I need to set my header in line with these lines. Right about there, hire a worker. Is he gonna work? I think it is working. Yes. So this is going to give us that straight line that we need to be, be able to complete the rest of the field. And then as soon as we go forward and straight on, we're going to hit this little spot down here at the bottom left hand corner, finish our passes and be good to go. There's got to be a better way, especially if you're doing this yourself. There's got to be a better way, man. But I don't know if this, 
it works good enough for me. It's it's fine. But so far, out of all the ways I've harvested this field, this is the way I found that works the best for me. And I've done it for the first time today. <laughs> all right, there you go. So what we've done is we have hit everything up through here. Now we got to go back down to the bottom again. <laughs> Uh, I think I could probably just spin it this way. Oh boy, spin it this way. The good thing is, whenever we come through to pick up all of the straw, I think I've got the cheaty straw pickup on here. Yeah, I don't think we're using the uh, baler anymore for that. So come down here, hire them up on a worker, and be good to go. It's only got 31,000 liters. We may try and do a little bit of carting with it. We might be able to hit this whole field. I don't, <laughs> I don't actually know. So let's find our spot, line it up, and hopefully hire a worker and make it do it the right way. Perfect. All right, we got some other stuff to do. All right, let's do a little bit of carting or at least try to. I know this combine harvester is going to take off on us. Oh, no, wait, <laughs> we caught him before he could go. Perfect, nice, nice, nice. What I may also do, because there's no way there's 100,000 liters left on this field. I may go ahead and cart this. We've got 63,000 liters in here. This is more than enough. We'll come through here. Oh, that's a fence. Ah, we don't do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Taking a quick look at our productions and we're doing pretty well. So oats are rocking and rolling, doing good through there. Uh, no silage or grass silage, nothing like that. So we don't need to make that yet. Um, butter and everything looks like the milk is already in. So we're good there. Actually, I never, never checked. Did we get all of the milk away from our animals? We did. Okay. Oh yeah. And we sold the slurry as well the last episode. Kind of forgot about that. It's been about a week since I recorded that. Oops, my bad. Uh, now let's go around. We need to pick up some straw. We're going to use our ADAR for that. And there it is. Cream of the crop. <laughs> the one thing that I've kind of uh, built, I think, my channel around over the past two or three years. This piece of equipment right here. Not the tractor. No, no, no. The wind rower in the back. I said wind rower. The, the loading wagon. There you go. I don't know why I said <laughs> wind rower. Uh, it's got windrows on the side. It's a windrow version of the mod. Uh, generally, I start wherever I've started with my combine harvester, which is going to be all the way over here. A lot of you guys have asked, where do you find this mod? Um, it's Papa Smurf mod. So you can go check that out through there. Uh, you can also get it on pretty much any third party site. Be careful which ones you download off of. But yeah, it's pretty much available on all third party sites. We'll go ahead and unfold it, drop it down. And once we get over here, we will turn it on right there. Got it. Perfect. Now we just got to pick out a straw up. I don't remember how much this holds. It's either 1 million or 10 million. Oh, missed some right there. It's a lot. <laughs> Regardless, it's a lot. 3%, 30. So, okay. So that's, that's a million, right? I don't know. Talking about a lot of straw. We picked up over 200,000 liters just off of the two headlands that we did boom right there now we've got to go through and start on all the rest of the lines that we did we did one little bit of a oop right here down at the bottom we can pick up all the little extra stuff that we missed too there is a quarter million liters of straw we we might get close to a big total off of this setup right here the thing is we don't even need the straw i just use it for food i don't even use it for bedding anymore it's still a lot man it's still a lot speaking of how is our uh how's our worker doing yeah he's Still working, I guess. Okie dokie. So we are finished up this field right here. There is 72,720,000 liters. Sorry. That's a lot of straw, man. Yo, where's uh, how's the combine harvester doing? They're doing good. I don't know why, but I expected them to be done already. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the second field that we've got up here. Then we will go ahead and dump all of this in our silo. And then we'll head back and hit that last field. Um, and that'll probably be where we uh, call it for today, but there may be a couple little surprises in between, so stay tuned. After this field, we are at 823,000 liters. This is probably a good spot that we go ahead and... Oh, nope, go this way, go this way. There you go. This is probably a good spot to go ahead and empty this thing out. Oh, boy. Ah, there you go. Gotta love that. Um, so I don't know if you remember, but a few episodes ago, we stopped giving our cows bedding. Uh, the straw was, their manure rather, was just going everywhere. It was very difficult to manage, and um, I really didn't want to deal with it anymore. So we stopped doing that. However, I'm still saving all the straw because you never know what's going to happen with that. Fly through here. Boom, there you go. We've also got all this grass. We'll probably doing that in the next episode, so that's going to be a lot of fun. You guys know I like doing mowing and things like that. So, 
let's hit this field but instead of hitting at the top and then coming down i'm actually going to start down here this is going to allow me to pick up kind of where i left off with the second pass boom there we go and then we'll hit these right here oh cool man cool i wonder how much yo is he done uh nope but he's almost done so i may as well just go ahead and fire him up and do this myself because this is going to be the last pass <laughs> hey perfect timing dude perfect timing can we hit it we got it there it is harvest is now complete we probably got one more harvest left with the uh, amount of episodes that we have and i was absolutely right there's no way we were getting 100,000 liters of oats off of the rest of this field uh, we got 37,000. And, and the straw is probably going to be triple or quadruple that. Let's get this out. I'm just going to go and take this opportunity. We'll take our combine harvester back over to the main field or main uh, farm rather. We'll take that and go dump it in our grain mill so that it's ready to go. And then as far as all the straw goes, well, it's just going to be on us. Last load right here. We'll go ahead and put it away. And ba-boom, done. Now I need to double check on here and see how things are going. Where's the trigger? I don't know where the trigger is for this, so we're just gonna hit pause and go down to the production menu. Uh, so, so we shop grain mill, here we go. So we have 196,000 liters in there. It is gaining flour like it's nobody's business. And we already have 5,000 liters of flour in there. That is good. And that is probably gonna take, I don't know, I think overnight's a little bit too uh, optimistic, maybe two days and all that should be done. Let's go get the rest of our straw. Rock and roll, man. Here we go. This is going to be the final little bit. Boom. Go ahead and turn it off so I can spin around here. What did we get? 207,000 liters off of the headline. Not bad. Uh, very similar to what we got on the other set of fields. Would be cool to kind of get all of that stuff up, but I guess it is what it is. I don't know what we'll get off here. I'm going to guess uh, 470,000 liters. Is that even close? Ooh, it's going to be close. We've got three more runs to go. 450,000 liters right there. Oh, I think I'm going to go over. But boy, is it going to be close. Dude, I don't know if I've ever gotten that close before. There's 65, 6, 7. Oh, there it is. 471,000. Yeah, but it's in the 470, so you know what? I will take that, and I will take that as a uh, as a, a cue to go ahead and tell you goodbye for the day, but only for this episode. We'll see you next time here on Court Farms. We're going to be doing a little bit of grass harvesting. This is going to be episode, I think, 18. We are rocking and rolling, getting it going. We got a couple more episodes here, and then we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, supposedly, as the time of my recording this, uh, this should be pending release for console players, or, well, actually, should already be out for you guys, which is super exciting. Today, however, we've got a little bit of work to do. Today's going to be about some grass work. Uh, we may make our way through. We may change it up, do some stuff like that. Uh, I may just kind of get some work done, and then trade it out. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen yet. Uh, I do know that we will also, more than likely anyway, get some planting done, or at least uh, figure all of that out. And then we've got episode 19 and episode 20. And I think at that point, we'll be just about ready. All of our grass today is going to be going right here. We're going to be trading it out, making half of it hay, half of it silage. And 100% of it's going to get used for animals. So let's go. And this is going to be the monster that we're using. Our big old John Deere radar. We've got our mower set up here on the back. Things are looking good. Let's go ahead and take... Oh boy, don't crash. That doesn't have brakes. So it's just kind of sitting there. Uh, we've got, I think, uh, what? Six fields to do? Four fields to do? There's quite a few to do today. So we've got 55, 39, 38, 40, and 46. How many ever that is? Is that five? I feel like that's five <laughs> nonetheless uh, you guys have seen me do this like i think a hundred times at this point yeah solid 100 times evenly here on court farm so uh, i'm probably just gonna swing through and try and do all of this on my own i might have gotten a little bit carried away did the whole thing didn't update you guys not not even a little bit. Who <laughs> did miss a couple little spots here and there. Uh, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm kind of falling asleep at the wheel of the tractor. Boom and ba-boom. That's, that's 
It's gonna drop it right there, right smack dab in the middle. Oh, got a little sprig right here. We'll hit that while we're at it. And boop, got it. All right, we'll go ahead and turn them all off. We'll go ahead and fold. Can we fold that one? Yes, we can. And we can fold that as well. So all of the fields that we need to mow have been mowed. Now it's gonna be the time to pick it all up and take it over to our production chain. Let's rock and roll. I do believe, I kind of started thinking about this a little bit because it's been, oh, I don't know, a day and a half since I recorded that last clip. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe make that the last harvest, at least for this little supercut uh, situation. Now that it's out for all platforms, lots changed since I recorded that first clip. <laughs> Well, I think what I'm going to do is go through and maybe, uh, maybe continue this now that it's out for everybody. Hopefully everybody can enjoy the map and, uh, we'll kind of go from there, but I do want to try some different stuff. I mean, I feel like we've harvested and, and gotten the grass off of this field, uh, a lot, actually. We've, we've done that a bit. So I think what would be fun is if we... Maybe try to uh, try to lose something else. Maybe uh, moved our farm and possibly something else. Also, uh, there is a lot going on right now, and I think this is the wrong setup. Hang on. Oh, 100%. That was the wrong setup. So what had happened was I had done a little bit of messing around off screen, and this thing was up to 100 million or 10 million. It was somewhere in there. Either way, it was too much. So I decided to bring this back down just a little bit. I don't know if you guys know, but if, you, uh, if you're if you going through and you accidentally collect something, and I think it's like under a few percentage, well, you end up having trouble. And I don't, I, I ain't here for no trouble. So I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Last time I did this, I lost, I think it was like, I don't know, two or 300,000 liters of straw. It sucked, it was not fun. So this should be a little bit better for us. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can make this turn, pick up all three. Yes, we could do it. So this is gonna be a lot of grass, all of it. 100% of the grass that we're picking up here. Again, taking over, switch it up to silage and hay, and then maybe go from there. Maybe get into some production chains that are not on the map. There may have been a field that I forgot to mow. You know what, not gonna work. Really? Come on, man. Uh, not gonna worry about it. <laughs> So let's just take this. We got 927,000 liters of grass in here. Uh, we'll flip that around. Half will be, well, we've already gone over this, haven't we? Let's go ahead and drop this off over here and then kind of talk about and go over what I think would be fun to do. Oh, we'll slow it down next. So we've got a few things in stone, but we are going to have to uh, choose a few other things for now. Uh, there's actually quite a bit that's done for us. Oh, there's still grass in there? Hang on a minute. I just checked this. There was no grass in here the last time. Probably, uh, probably because I just sat here for, for a hot minute. Uh, what, what, what's the time it gave? 11 a.m.? I think we could probably get past that pretty quickly. Let's just go ahead and speed this up. There we go. Uh, it took, what was that, 12 minutes in game? <laughs> just sped it up and, well, all the grass is now gone. So I'm going to move uh, all the silage over. We're going to move all of the hay over. And that way we're at least in a good spot to uh, continue moving along. It's going to take a little bit of time and then we need to figure out some of these production chains. I would like to branch out a little bit. I think IRL, it's probably been about a week or so since I've actually recorded anything on here. So hopefully some of these clips line up together. Nonetheless, uh, can we skip through here? I think we probably can. Oh, it's going to be bumpy. Go, go, go. There's another thing as well. Because of how far along we have come since we've started this, uh, I think we're to the point now where we can set our production chains to kind of do the stuff for us. Uh, I, I know that we've got bread that's ready to be sold. I know that we've got uh, flour that's ready to be taken care of. But unfortunately for us, well, I got other stuff to do and I'd rather that just make us money on its own. <laughs> we, what do we have, $3.6 million? Who cares about money anymore? I'm having fun. All right, let's see if we can get some of this situated. So what I'm gonna do, uh, see, how's the flower moving? How are we doing? 166, 68, that's doing pretty good. Let's take this, so we have our flower, and then this is all set to spawn, so I'm just gonna change the output here. So we're gonna go from that to distributing. Now, there's only one place that I've got that it can distribute to, and that is here. Now I'm gonna change this to selling. We'll change the cake to selling as well, just to make a couple things a little bit easier. So now we gotta take this, we'll take it back down and sell what we need to sell. 
Also like this. This is such a cool little piece of equipment. I love that. But this is what we need. That was fast. Now all we gotta do is grab this and go. And now we don't have to use anything up here anymore. It's really just a sell point for all things concerned. So I think now, especially since we're so far in, I believe we're in episode 18 now, if I remember correctly, uh, we're, we're kind of on autopilot at this point. So we need to find a way to sell all of the stuff that we have minus the animals. I'm keeping those guys. I like them. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. This is not an easy rig to back up. Now, bread. How much bread do we have? Uh, there's nothing in here. Ow. Well, <laughs> I guess we don't need this anymore, do we? All right, so that's empty. We don't need that. This, I don't know if this is empty or not. It should be. It is, so we don't need that anymore. I am going to still take them over. See, auto load is on this side, so we'll do the same thing here. Let's see if I can pick this up and stack it on top. I don't, I don't know if David said to do this or to not to do this, but it did this. Aha! Let's go! Double decker on all the bubble! As for the wool, at least for right now, we're gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not gonna try and change this up while we're here, but there is a mod that came out super early in Farming Simulator 22's lifespan where you could take any of the animal products and then ship them off. Uh, all you do is set a little hut here and then it just kind of loads it into a trigger and sends it off into the production chain world. We'll probably utilize that in our next series. Well, yeah, speaking of next series, what's it gonna be? I don't, I don't know yet. I've, I've, got, I've got a pretty good idea. I think I'm going to go, uh, instead of playing on all the maps that are super popular, I think I'm just going to go play on a map and enjoy myself. And I think I've got it picked out. At least for now, though, we've got to figure out exactly what we're going to get up to. So I need to pop around. We need to see what we've got. Who needs what? I think the animals are probably well taken care of. Yeah, I mean, they could use some food, but <laughs> they're going to eat it all. Ooh, this is one. I don't know how much grain I've got left. Um, none. None is the word. The, the, the word of the day is, is DJ doesn't have any more grain. Ah, uh, we should probably grow a field of grain just to feed the chickens a little bit more. So now this brings us over here with our cedar. I don't know what I'm going to plant. We obviously need some wheat, so no more oats. Uh, rye, fill beans, alfalfa, wheat. There we go. We probably got enough seed to, I don't know, kill a horse. So we'll, we'll just hang on to that for now. Uh, this field looks good. Oh, I need to fertilize, don't I? Uh-oh. I forgot what order to do stuff in. That's okay. I know where exactly to go to get my fertilizer. And it's right here. Oh, yeah. Look it up. Come on now. You got this. Yeah. How much is in there? 8,700 liters. I think that'll do just fine. So what are we thinking? One last harvest here on, uh... <laughs> Cord farms. Uh, I think if we were able to do that, I think we probably go. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing wheat. Whoa, that is slow. Nuh -uh, fast farm, baby. Uh, we'll definitely do wheat. Maybe we do like, I don't say one of every different crop, but we could definitely put ourselves in a position to fill up some of that production chain. If we're going to be doing it that way, then we go maybe barley, wheat and barley. We just did oats, so that's not going to really work for us anymore. Could do sorghum. Uh, that is a that is definitely an option there. Huh. Yeah, I need to figure that out. But we're definitely putting wheat at least in like two of these. I'd tell you what though, I do love this cedar. Now this, I can't remember what the name of this cedar was back uh, when we were first using it in Farming Simulator. Was that 17, I believe, 15? Uh, way, way back when. Loved it, absolutely, absolutely loved it. Um, but I don't remember what the name of it was. And then it, Came into Farm Sim 22 and it just wasn't quite fun anymore. So uh, TF 2020 mods decided that they were going to make a full set of... It's the... the well, probably it's direct drilling right now. So I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's good again. Actually, it was one of the very first mods that ever came out of Farming Simulator 22. They were able to take this entire setup and well, make everything uh, direct drill. Which was kind of cool. All planters, all seeders. Um, they even added fertilization. I believe it was the optional fertilizer mod. Maybe. I think that's what it was called. Eh, either way, go check it out. One thing you really got to be careful about this thing, though, is when you turn, uh, it will turn on a dime. However, it, it also gets like jumbled up a little bit in the back because it's like tolerances are like zero back there. 
So sometimes, if you're like me and you just kind of go from end to end, you might want to flip it around a little bit. You may want to raise it up and drop it back down, but eh, it works. And we're done with uh, one field. Now we got a bunch more to do. What am I going to plant? Some time has passed and, uh, well, here we are. We've got uh, quite a bit done. So we have soybeans in six, filled beans here, because why not? Uh, poplars, well, I don't, I don't want to, but it'll be funny. Uh, we've also got canola and we've got our wheat right here. So that'll be our chicken feed. Uh, poplars, I had a little bit of fun playing with poplars in a uh, previous video that I didn't ever post. And so I'm just going to bring that over to here because it was really, really dangerous, dangerous stuff. Also had some fun at PAX with poplars, so that'll be fun as well. At least for right now, that's everything I could do in the game today. It's 1609, whatever that is. And there's really nothing else to do. So we're going to go to bed. <sighs> Welcome to the next morning in game. That was a real yawn, not one that was just used for the game. <laughs> you guys know I don't do the roleplay stuff. But it's super funny. Uh, everything to look good. I don't know. It's growing. So that's good. And of course, down here, we've also got our grass fields that are growing and they are fertilized and ready to go. Uh, although yield bonus is 98% on quite literally everything. Because if you know me, and some of you do, yeah, I'm, I'm not mulching. Sorry. <laughs> so let's take a look at those animals and see how everybody figured overnight. So cattle are down to about half of the amount of food. That, uh, that they would normally would have. Uh, milk still around 30 to 40,000 liters per uh, 250 cattle at night. Uh, we do have some cattle that are little babies. So we've got 32 month olds and four month olds. So there is that. Now, chickens uh, multiplied overnight. <laughs> so now we have a uh, thousand head of chicken. I don't think we can get any more than that. I think a thousand is the, the max, but uh, they are going to need some food eventually. Uh, and then the, we're going to need some food over here as well. So why don't we mix up some food? We need about a thousand, a hundred million uh, words. We need a lot of everything. Also, I don't, I don't know if you looked at the top right hand corner, but I'm not sure where that extra million dollars came from because I didn't cheat it in. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. Here we go. Uh... Yeah, but, but we got a, like a million dollars overnight. I have no idea what happened. I assume that is from milk and possibly slurry and other things. But that that's a lot, right? We, we got so much money, we don't even need it. I should have put this in hard mode because it would have been at least more difficult, but yeah, whatever, what are you gonna do? Let's have some fun. Today, I think we may go with a 35-35-20 setup. So that is going to be 35% hay, 35% silage, and 20% straw. Let's make it happen. Perfect. There you go. Now it is right on the edge. I would probably recommend maybe not doing such tight, uh, tight intervals. Maybe try and put some mineral feed in there as well. You probably do better off doing it that way. Oh yeah, I remember trying to do this the first time. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna back up and then pull into this thing right here. Man, it would be so cool to be able to like back up in first person as well, but I can't see anything. You can't use your mirrors because it's literally impossible. <laughs> so I gotta do it the old fashioned way. Hey, it still works. Best backwards driver in farm sim sometimes, but always definitely on Mondays and Tuesdays and any day that ends with uh, Ban Matsy, get out of here. <laughs> All right, first set going in. And honestly, that'll probably be the last time we feed these guys anyway. Uh, what do we have in here? Five, four, yeah, that's, we're, we're gonna have some left. We'll just throw that in a silo and be done with it. What was that? Was that a trigger to unload into the pallets? Well, that's kind of cool. Can we pull up straight here without having to turn it around? Consensus A, oh yes. Cool. All right, so we'll dump this and then, uh, I don't know, I guess just put the trailer away. We really don't need this. I guess we could use this for feed, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it might make feeding the other animals easier. It could, yeah, whatever. Let's spin it around, we'll head back over. So we dump out the TMR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Cool. And we try and get some hay. I don't, I don't know how much. I forgot that part. Uh, about eight hundred and seventy thousand liters. Oof. 
Yeah, I grabbed 860 because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. <laughs> look at them all looking like, oh, there's food and a tractor. I get it, sheepies. I get it. I like tractors too. Tractors are cool. Uh, what about water? That's, that's one thing I didn't... Uh-oh. Well, not only have I gotten stuck, but <laughs> one sheep is down. Let's see if I can spin this thing around here. I probably should have just driven through. That would have been better enough. Yeah, much better. All right, so we'll dump that there. Uh, water. They haven't drank any water the best year, have they? You guys even drink water, bro? There you go. They took it all. Perfect. So now we don't have to feed them again either. Speaking of, uh, let's go ahead and shut this. I want to check on the wool from overnight. How do we do? We got about 5,000 liters since the last time we checked it yesterday. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't know what to. I don't know what to do with the information, but we have more wool. <laughs> and to that effect, I think we could probably park this up now and not have to worry about it anymore. I've actually never used this shed, and I'm using it for when we're retiring a piece of equipment, at least for the series. So there's that. Let's double check to see if there's anything else that we could do today to make things easier on ourselves tomorrow. A couple things, but nothing really serious. Just want to kind of give you an idea and a heads up of uh, what to expect moving forward. So we've got two episodes left here, and then we're going to be changing it up a little bit. Um, we, we didn't buy bunnies. We didn't buy pigs. And we, we never bought horses, but, well, really, what's new there? <laughs> Am I right? Uh, we also didn't buy any extra farms. There are three sets of uh, cattle areas. However, um, yeah, yeah, we didn't buy the third one. Whatever. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> I don't have enough time to do all this. We've also got uh, four grass fields. We've got uh, two fields of beans, uh, poplars, uh, canola, and plenty of wheat to do plenty of harvesting moving forward, which would be nice. Still have no idea how we'll do that poplar setup. Maybe maybe we do poplar bales. We just bail that entire field. That'll be ridiculous and absolutely hilarious. As far as the production chains go, they are completely automated at this point. Uh, we, we do have milk that we need to take over, but we'll probably do that in the next one. Um, it is May currently, so we'll get through June. We'll get through July, and hopefully when August gets here, we will be able to jump in and have some fun harvesting. Until then, hope you enjoyed this one. Do the liking and subscribing stuff and tune back in for the next one because we are going to have two full days of harvesting, preparing, getting everything ready to go. It's going to be a good time. Today, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Everything is ready to be harvested. We've got four fields of grass, one field of uh, <laughs> poplars. Oops. Uh, we've also got fields of canola, we've got wheat, we've got filled beans, and we have soybeans. So the only question is, what do we do first? Technically, uh, I need to put everything where it's supposed to go. After the last video, I would have got the thumbnail together, but everything's just kind of all over the place. It's very, very busy around here. So first things first, I'm gonna put stuff away. We're gonna get everything nice and organized. Uh, and then we're probably gonna have to feed the cows or at least very minimum. We need to get a few things from them. And, uh, you'll see what I mean. There's a few things that we definitely need to do first today. Number one, the milk. We need to get that milk away from the cows uh, because well, we've only got $4.7 million. I, I need more than that. Uh, number two. We need, <laughs> we need to harvest some wheat because our chickens, poor things, uh, they are famished and they need food. So we need to figure out a way to get them some food. Uh, let's see if we can check it here. Do we have chickens? Chicken chickens? Maybe? Up, up, up. There we go. Chickens. Uh, yeah, they have 32,000 liters out of 1 million liters left. Reproduction rate and everything's at like 50% right now. So... We need to get all that up. Those are some rookie numbers. Hey, look at that, milk. And this is the last thing I'm doing is backing this in here. It's almost like I planned this perfectly. Let's go, milk it, yeah. I don't remember how much I've got. We can go double check that real quick. So let's see, 130,000 liters of milk there and no milk here. So that means there was 130,000 liters. That is a lot. I think we've gone through three or four days in game since the last time you guys saw us. So uh, that's 
That's, that's a bunch, is what that is. The canola's looking good, though. Thank goodness we're playing in a video game, or else this would, this would not be, this would not work in real life. Oh, look at that, the wheat. It looks very good as well. Oh, get out of here, birds. So total, we have 261,000 liters of milk that has been uh, accrued over the past few days in game. We'll bring this here, drop it off, and we will go ahead and check on it, see how we're doing. Oh, that is almost full. I was about to say, we, we almost need to upgrade this again. I don't think we need to. Uh, it's cheaty. How much is an upgrade? 39 grand? You know what? I'll upgrade it once more. Why not? Everything is set to selling as well, so we don't have to worry too much. Uh, butter's good. Cheese is good. Raw milk is good. Chocolate is good, but uh, we don't have any sugar. So we didn't make any of that. Next, let's take care of those poplars. I know we're not really doing bells right now anymore, but... I thought it would be fun to uh, maybe jump back into this piece of equipment. It was originally released back at Farming Simulator 90, but uh, it is very, very cool, and we can make poplar bells out of it. I don't know if we can make poplar bells out of anything else, though. I'm going to check, but I don't think we can. I checked. I don't think we can. Uh, we might be able to if we are. Hey, let me know, because I may just be completely oblivious and unaware to certain situations. So, uh, in the meantime... Wow! Yeah, that wasn't loud at all. <laughs> Mark! Alright, let's back up to this. Let's take it over there and let's do some poplar bailing. There's the death. <laughs> Hang on, I forgot what that looked like. Drop it down, drop it down. <laughs> it looks like you tried to tiptoe over something. That's awesome. Stupid funny. That is really, really good. Alright. Let's bring it around here. We'll have a little bit of fun with poplar bailing. At a first glance, I'm thinking the field's a little bit larger than I thought it was gonna be. Let's see if we can swing this out that way. That will do perfectly fine. And uh, then we go over here. Now, I can't remember, do we have to unfold it? No, just kind of lower it, turn it on, be good to go. I don't know if there's, hmm. Can't really change the uh, change the bit there, can we? Nope. I uh, see. Turn off bailer. Turn on automatic drop. There we go. We definitely want to do that. And there we go. And it works. <laughs> oh no, it's almost full already. Uh, yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. So that's how that's gonna work. And it goes back in. And then it wants me to do it some more. Oh boy, uh, this, this is sure going to take some, yep, we're full again. Yep, yep, no, I heard you. This is going to suck. We'll see how it does on a hill here. I may even not be getting as much as I could. Uh, there we go. Back it up just a little bit. Let it drop there. Nice. Does it go roll away? No, actually, it doesn't roll away. That makes things super easy on me, at least. Uh, but I don't think going through is going to be as easy. Up, oh, up, we're full again. Well darn. Man, there's got to be an easier way to do this. Oh, oh. We've got a runner. we got a runner. I can't pick it up. Toggle stripper strength. Ha ha. Gotcha. Got a sneaky suspicion we're going to get another runner. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, bud. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. All right. Uh, I think I could probably get a little bit of this done. Did I miss some more back there? Come on, man. Uh, there's there's so much. There's just so much to take in right now. Uh, and that's, nope, that's not going to work. All right, bring it here. Uh, swing it. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Doing my best, man. <laughs> I'm straight up just trying my best. Did I really miss just all of that? I just missed all of that. This, this is something. <laughs> we're, we're working. All right, let's see how much work I can get done maybe in the next five minutes. Yeah? Who knows? I think this tractor's too big as well. We may have to swap this out. It's like a scene from Jurassic Park. Don't go into the long poplars. Ha <laughs> ha. So. Five minutes later at 9.20 in the morning, and I've decided that this tractor, which I grabbed the 5 Series, is rubbish for this thing. So we're just going to park it there and jump back into this, because this seemed to work okay. we got plenty of power, plenty of everything. Um, however, the struggle bus is real, because 
I didn't even make it around one time in that five minutes. It took that long to get everything swapped around and everything. So we're back in now. This should be a little bit faster. Grab this and go, go, go. And we've missed some already. I wonder if this will work with a worker. Man, if this could work with a worker, that would that would just make things nice. <laughs> Until then, there's another. All right, we'll go another 10 minutes and uh, we'll see where we're at then. Here we are, 10 minutes later, and it doesn't look like I've accomplished a darn thing. Uh, I've gotten a, a kind of a thing together, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, we've made so many stupid bales. How many bales have I made? 40! 40 bales! How? They're all just wood chips. Well, I guess they're 2,000 liters each. So it's really not that many. But still, it's just so many bells. There we go. This, this is another one. Let's just get this and throw them out of the way. This was a bad idea on my part, and you guys should not have supported it. <laughs> I want to go home. I haven't even done anything yet. Ten minutes later, and I've got a new uh, a new thing here. Before, I was starting and stopping and trying to do it all the correct way and yada, yada, yada. Now, I'm just flying across. So, we're filling the bell up much, much faster, but it's, well, it's, it's not as pretty. It's definitely not as pretty. Um... What's our, what's our bell count now? 74. So we've not doubled, but we've got a whole lot more bells now than we did uh, 10 minutes ago. So we're just going to kind of keep this rocking and rolling. Keep it moving and grooving and see what happens. Oh, oh bad things. 10 minute check in. We have just made 101 bells. Again, a little bit slower through here, but, and that's okay. Nice and fast. There you go. Now we're getting up to speed. So what it's done is, uh, well, it's getting a little bit more difficult to, to do because it's getting less, less up here. That's all right. Uh, I'm also just trying to put everything down at the end rows, like right down here, and drop it there. That way, once we come through, there's just so many stupid bales. All right, uh, that's your 10-minute that's your check-in again. I don't know how long I've been doing this, but uh, too long uh, is, is what it is. Yes, so let's... Uh, Let's finish this job and get it over with. Okay, well, we didn't have to wait another 10 minutes because we're almost done. There we go, there's one more. And then of course we're do what we always do here at the very end, finish the last bail and then top it off. So there's that, wood chips, there you go. 123 plus bales. I never want to see wood chip bells ever, ever again. <laughs> I've gone crazy. I have an idea, but it's not appropriate, <laughs> but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Get it. What is that solid? No, oh, it's solid. No, I don't know the, I don't know. The, is that stuck? That is stuck. Well, that's what you get for messing up with the wood chips. All right, now we gotta find ourselves something to get all those stupid bells up with. Um, huh. I know I keep using the pounge pack, but it, it works really, really well. Uh, plus you could back this up, which is something we're gonna have to do because our sell point is here on the farm. So let's figure that out. I think I'm using, I don't know, I don't know what, what I'm using, uh, folding mechanism now. We. We really don't need one of those, so we'll just leave it be. And for some reason, my license plates are never quite the way I left them. This should say DJ60 ham. DJ60 ham. K. Yeah. There he is. How much was that? Okay, 17 grand. I thought for a second I saw 70. I was like, I'm gonna. Mm -mm. All right. Oh. <sighs> Now we gotta pick all these stupid bales up. Oh, I guess I could have put them in the, the bell thing, huh? Eh, we don't need the money. I'll figure it out. Activate auto load. 25 bales. Yeah. Boom, boom, bam, 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 bam. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. Uh, this was, I don't know, this is working okay. Uh, is that it? No. That's it. I feel like I didn't get that many. And, uh, yeah, what do, 
we'll just put them down here, right? It's like, it's, it's fine, right? It'll be, it'll be cool. Boop. Ha ha. All right, let's do that like 17 more times or however many times 124 divides into 24. How many times is that? Like five, six? I don't know, numbers. Oy. There we go. That is all of it. I think it was five loads plus these four last ones. I don't know. You guys could do the math and let me know. I didn't do it. I didn't even count how many times I came over here. What I did think about is, wouldn't it be fun to fill this thing up? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Come on, get it. Bam. Oh, I'm so good at this. Ah. All right, so we've got all of them back there doing good. Uh, 124 capacity out of 250. Now, I think as far as our straw capacity goes, we don't need any more, so we might be able to... Yeah, 2.5 mil. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good there. We, we, we might pick up the straw bells, throw them in there. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll hang on to this bell trailer in the meantime. I don't, I don't know where to put it, though. Actually, we could put it right here. Wasn't this the bell trailer I started this series with? Oh, uh, things are good, man. Things I got. Nope, oh, best backwards driver in farms. So cut this part out. Next, we definitely need to get a little bit of harvesting done. At least take care of the chickens. They're gonna die if we don't. And and I can't have that. I'm not on my conscience. Let's turn everything on. Just able to straw swath. I got the hiccups. Oh goodness gracious. Turn this all. There we go. Uh, we do have to change up our. Uh, the, the way I'm planning things, just a wee bit. Normally, 57, this field right here, or farmland 48. God, it's so confusing. Uh, that is generally the same thing, but only these three fields are the same thing. So we're going to have to only harvest those fields. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go about that yet, but do know that I'm going to do it. <laughs> so uh, maybe you guys can hang out with me here just for a second. Normally we always go around this way, so this is nothing new. Also, hopefully we get like a hundred and some thousand liters off of this. I really, really hope that I haven't messed around and not planted enough because that would just look awful. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I should have planted more than three fields with wheat and we don't have any barley and I don't think they can eat beans. This is the only field we've got. Yeah, this is what I was talking about right here. This is generally where we would hang a, uh, well, go straight, but here we hang a right. And I definitely missed a lot right there. But the good thing is we get to go straight right here. I've already cut those trees down. I think we did that a couple episodes ago. Uh, there were a couple trees here. Let's <laughs> just get all up in the way. And after this, we will almost be done with the first little headland around these three fields. Cool. That only means we've got a little bit more farming to go. And nice. Got it. Yeah, probably should have planted more. I was thinking maybe, uh, I don't know, a million liters. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I thought this was, yeah, this would work. Currently, we've got 93,000, which is what? A couple times more than what they actually have right now. These poor chickens. They're... They need a home. <laughs> this isn't even a tenth of what they need. Uh, we may end up having to buy that. I, I think I've got a buying trigger over there. I think we put one down. If so, we will uh, We will go ahead and fill them up with that and be done with it. We could also take this. If we're going to do that, we could just take this amount right here and go put it in the silo. Hmm. We may have to do that. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. So let's take this. We will use this to make some money with the bread and all the goodies. And then we will just buy what they need because this is going to be much, much better off used this way. Speaking of, let's take a look at those productions real quick. Uh, let's see. How's our how's our milk? Let's go down a little bit since we started. Not a lot, but some. And then it looks like everything else. I mean, bread's good. We've got 68,000 liters in there. Yeah, but there's not really much going on with grain mill. So let's change that. DJ one, grain mill zero, or, or game. Uh, I don't know, everybody kind of wins. <laughs> no chickens, something, I don't know. But shut up, let's get back to the main farm. <laughs> All right, here's the game plan. Boom, yeah. Let's fill this up with wheat. There we go. While that's filling up, of course, money's going out. We need to take this tractor and get it out of the way because this is the dump trigger. Uh, I love the chickens like, no, run! I think we probably put that there and be okay. 
where's where's that? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that'll work. And then we just have to make sure that we don't bump into that global goods transport pallet right there. See what some of these chickens are just Naruto running the heck out of it. Heck yeah, man. Rock and roll. Uh, where is it? There it is. There we go. Dump it out. Chickens get food. And I don't remember where the of course right here the trigger is, huh? Yeah, okay. No, we're good. Uh, we maxed out on the amount of chickens that we can have, so at least there's that, but uh, eh, we're doing okay. All right, I got to do this a couple times just so we don't have to worry about the stupid chickens anymore. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be enough. Uh, 631,000 liters. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't need that much. That's going to take them like seven years to get through. So we'll take this, spin it around, and uh, well, I guess get prepared for the next uh, next set of harvests. Yeah. Yeah. Those harvests are going to include a few things. Of course, we have some soybeans over here. We have our filled beans here. Again, we will reiterate the grass that we have. And it looks like we've got, I think, one more field over here. The canola. We could probably knock out the canola today, but I'm not sure we would have enough to do next time. Also, we have slurry everywhere. Everybody's just it, it's just, it's out of control. 340-ish thousand liters there. Same thing over here. So double that up was at 680 almost thousand liters. Plenty of poo. So we will take that. We will get that sold as well. we'll probably go ahead and get rid of the uh, baler. Yeah, we're not going to use that again. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to make any bales. I don't, we'll figure that out. In the meantime, uh, it, with the last episode coming up next, uh, with this episode 19, we have episode 20 dropping, at least for this part of the series. Uh, I want to talk about a few things that I wish I could have done that I didn't get to do, and maybe you won't make the same mistake? I don't know. Um, I've been really happy with the fields that I've chosen. Uh, it would have been cool to kind of get out here and try some other stuff, but uh, we, we've got just stuff in between all these fields that I just have no interest in dealing with all of that plus uh strip farming's not really my thing but uh, the good thing is he put up plenty uh, more stuff something else that i wish i would have done but uh haven't done yet and this is actually the first time i'm doing it is checking out the castle i don't i don't actually think i've been over here yet is there any way like up and down in the castle i don't know let's let's fall down in here and let's just see uh let's see got some nope that's not gonna work uh Nope, I'm inside. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, nope, nothing over there. That doesn't go anywhere. I kind of would have thought there would have been a way up into the castle. Can't go through there. Huh. So what you're saying is I have to fly up here. <laughs> that's a long ways down. Well, still, nonetheless, very cool. So that's uh, what I wish I would have done is involve that a little bit more. Something else I wish it would have evolved a little bit more is getting out of my comfort zone. The comfort zone uh, that I've kind of built for myself over at the main farm and, and the surrounding farm area. As you can see, obviously, we've kind of done this area quite a few times, but it would have been fun to create a new field over here. Maybe check out some of these fields all the way over here. These are a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer. I did buy the biggest field on the map, but of course I did. It's me. What are you going to do? Is there something floating? Nope, that's a bird. Get out of here, birds! Uh, yeah, there, there was a lot that uh, that I wish I could have done. Of course, there's another farm here where we could do a few other sets of animals. Way over here, I believe right here it is. Yep, uh, this is another cattle farm. I would have loved to come over here. One of the main things I wanted to do whenever I started this farm was go slower. And I didn't do that. I kind of did what I always do. <laughs> Bought a bunch of expensive equipment and just farmed fast it was fun and i've enjoyed it and i don't regret any of it but i do kind of wish i could go back and maybe farm a little bit slower enjoy the map a little bit more maybe i could do some of that off screen generally i do continue playing on maps off screen after i finish the series so maybe this will be one of them in the meantime, we've got one more episode here on Core Farms. We are going to enjoy it very, very much. So, so sit back, relax. we got episode 20 coming up. We'll see you then. And we are back here at Core Farms with the final episode number 20, at least in series number one. We may do a second series later on. Um, I know it's already out for all platforms, which makes things very nice and easy. But at least for now, we... Are gonna need to finish. Oh, that would have been so cool if it would have actually worked, but it didn't. Come on, man. Today we've got quite a bit that we need to do. 
very first is going to be getting some harvesting done. We've got quite a bit of harvesting that needs to get done. Uh, we are going to have a bunch of straw as well, and all that straw is going to be left onto the ground because I don't want to mess with it, at least right now. We'll pick it up later on. I know in the last episode we talked about bailing it. I don't know if that'll happen or not. It might. You never know. It could. Probably won't, but it might. You know, never know. I think you guys know. All right, we'll move on. Uh, we've got a couple different fields to do today. So we've got this, which is the canola field. Um, I don't think we have an oil mill on the map. So yeah, we'll probably just sell this. And then we've also got our field beans and our soybeans. Again, really nowhere to sell those. So we're just gonna sell them and be, be done with that. Uh, we've also purchased quite a bit of wheat. Uh, yeah, there's. Let's just say the chickens are going to be plenty happy. Uh, it was about forty-five thousand dollars per thousand liters, which really isn't that bad because it sells for way more than that. So we're, we're, we'll make our money just fine. Uh, if you guys missed that, definitely go check out episode nineteen. If you're here with the uh, super cut, well, hey, hey, what up, dude? <laughs> Glad you guys made it all the way. So we're gonna run our two headlands around this. We will hire them up on a worker, and we will get everything done off of this. We also need to mow. We're gonna need to do that. And the worker has been hired. Nice. I don't know which way they're gonna go, but uh, either way, they're well gonna finish this. So that makes things nice and easy for us. So let's let this guy do his job, whichever way that is, and then let's go ahead and jump around. Aha! This is where I need to be. So I need that mower in the back. So we got to move this little five series out of the way. Oh, did I not sell the baler? Oh no! We're going a little bit quick. Let's ease it. Let's drop it down and let's go ahead and sell that. 72,000. We lost about 40 grand off of that and we didn't even sell the things that we got. Don't even care. Don't even care. Not in the slightest little bit. This is dirty, but you know what? It'll be just fine. It's gonna get the job done for us today and we'll run over some chickens in the process. Oh, speaking of running over chickens, I haven't checked the eggs in a while. 16,000 liters. Oh, seems like a lot. One other thing that I kind of wish I would have done is getting the little baby piggies. We never got little baby piggies. And I feel like we should have gotten little baby piggies. They deserved it. Don't, uh, I, 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 that's not what I wanted it to do. There we go. All right. Ay, 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 ay. One day, man. One day. All right. I think we're good. Everything's down. All the bits are down. Last time I did this, I fell asleep mowing. So let's see if I can not do that today. Work speed is good. Turn on the mower. Turn on the mower. Get mowing. Ooh, should we take advantage of uh, this time around and do all the fields at once? I think that we shall. So let's do that. This is something that I wanted to do as well. Let's do every single field as if it was one big grass field. And I just never did it. I don't, I don't know why. I thought it would be cool. And I'm so right. This is so much easier. This is way easier. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, again, if you missed the last one, definitely go check it out. Uh, we did poplars. It was not fun. It was it was torturous, and it took about 30 to 40 minutes to do. Don't recommend. Zero out of 10. <laughs> All right. I'm not quite sure what this is going to look like after running two runs around it, but... I guess we'll find out here momentarily. I see our uh, combine harvester says he's completed his task. Well, I'll be. He did. He did complete his task. Very cool, man. Very cool. What is this? Little sprigs everywhere. They're all over the place. I think there's two, but uh, I don't know. But well, they're everywhere. Let's go ahead and get this one. There we go. Uh, what is that? Zero liters. Got it. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Let's see how much this one is. Also zero liters. Take back what I said. We'll come on this side. I probably could have gotten there a little bit faster if I had gone up the uh, up that part, but eh, whatever. Wait, wait, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? There we go. We'll drop that off and head back over here to more mowing. And while we're here, we may as well update you on what have we been doing. So normally I run two headlands, but since we're gonna be doing this fairly quickly, I decided that three would definitely be the way to go. Plus I could pick up three uh, three swaths whenever I'm using the big swather because that's exactly what we're gonna do again um it's done really well though like really really well I've been kind of happy with this 
really mad that I didn't do this before, but it's worked. It's worked just a, 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 a judge harm. Is that, is that what you call it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so this is our last little bit up straight through here. And then once ever we finish this, I'm actually going to head to the other side of the field to start going back and forth. Uh, the sides are longer there. And through here, at least, this would be a little bit crooked. So we want to go somewhere where it's just going to be straight up and down and be done with it. And I didn't do this right. Oh, moving on. Oh, I got a couple passes done and it says that our combine has finished their task. And so they have. Well, there you go. Uh, we got 51,000 liters canola and we're going to sell every darn bit of it. Plus, I need to get over to the next field. Uh, there is an easy way to do this without having to take the header off, but it makes you look like a bit of an idiot. So, yeah, we're, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> you see, I could easily come up here, take the header off, pull it straight through there, not have to go very far, and be perfectly fine. But I've gone to the ends of the earth to try to get, oh boy, everything working great on this map, at least with my gameplay. So we're doing this the long way. We're going straight through the sheep pen, straight through the poplar garden. Is this a garden? Poplar garden? Poplar garden, we'll call it that. Get a little bit of air right through here. Yay! Get a little bounce there and go over here. Just like that. <laughs> And then we've got another field here as well. Uh, not quite sure how I want to go back and forth. I can't hire a worker on this grass field. I mean, I could, but it's not going to work the way you think it is. So I think maybe we just do this real quick. Knock this field out. I don't think we get straw. Yeah, we're not. We're not getting any straw. So it really doesn't matter how pretty this is. And then to end it all up. We'll hire a worker on that field and let him go do his thing. Because it's beans, I think we'll probably be just fine without having to cart. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out and see. Yeah, that didn't take very long at all. <laughs> I feel like we didn't do anything as well. I mean, what is that? 12,000 liters? It's, it's almost like it wasn't even worth it. I love field beans, but I think this field should be grass. That's something else that I regret not doing is doing doing that field <clears throat> grasp okay let's uh let's find ourselves a, a nice quiet place to hide and and wait for a tipper it was almost full before i could even hit the record button good job buddy good job all right so we'll bring this around here and i'm just kind of gonna drop this off we'll we'll come back to that a little bit later let's find that comp that's a mower let's find the combine harvester got it did i just turn it off Oh, come on now. Get it together, DJ. Uh, enable straw swath. We'll go ahead and drop that down. Should be good here. I think I've got the straw uh, harvest everything stuff mod. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was looking for. So this field, I think the last time we did this, it worked really well. So I'm going to do exactly that. Start up at the top. Go around in nice circles. Two of them, in fact. And then hire them up on a worker. And we've only gotten... Uh, not even 3,000 liters yet. Usually it goes pretty quickly, but not today. Not with the, not with beans. All right, now we've got back over here again. I do want to double check and see what our, it is, we're on 270 degrees. That should be a good starting point. There we go, hire them up. And they defaulted to 270, perfect. I think I've got this down now, more or less. Uh, if you guys don't know, we've got uh, all your numbers and stuff down there at the bottom left hand corner. So. Uh, yeah, just pull up your map and you'll be able to do everything that you need to do just fine. Uh, this is where we go back and forth and, uh, and then finish our headland way at the top. But it works. Uh, not getting a lot on here. Again, I don't expect to fill up the combine. It'll hold 100,000 liters, but yeah, I don't, I don't see that happening. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm done. Got it. Well, I mean, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh, hate multi-terrain angle. Now will you do it? Be good? Behave yourself. Go in the correct direction. What uh, What are we at? 90 degrees. Perfect. Oh, now I can get back to mowing. Where's, where's my mower? There it is. Hey, buddy. All right. We got a lot of mowing to do. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this before the bean field gets done. But I tell you what. 
It's basically a race at this point. So who will be finished first? Will it be the John Deere Eidor in the mo- I should not do that voice. Uh, we'll just find out. How about that? We're making our way through. So we've got, uh, well, this much left over here. I wonder if we could actually see. Yeah, so that much versus this much. Who is going to win it? Oh, is it going to be a worker? Is it going to be DJ Goham carving on his John Deere? Eidor with the awesome, nap, nap, don't do the voice. Man, I'm going as fast as I can, but I've got a pretty funny feeling any second now. It doesn't look like they've got much left up there. Any second, it's going to say helper whatever is done doing what they're doing. And, and I've just been going as fast as I can. I probably could have gone a little bit faster, but it wasn't a race at the beginning. Now it's a race. Oh, holy break turn. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, it's gonna be close. I'm done. I'm done. What's, what's he doing? Oh, he's got a little bit left. Ha 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 ha. I win. I mean, I won anyway, but I didn't have to do this <laughs> through this field. So that makes things super easy for me. All right. Oh, he, he would have had to have gone through, gone past, done it all again. And I ain't got to worry about that at all. Cool. All right. We'll hit this. We will, I guess, get this taken over to the silo. I'm, I'm setting it up for a series two so that we'll have a few things left to do whenever that starts, if it ever does. Uh, we got $4.5 million. I don't need the money. So we'll have a little bit of fun and we'll put all this in the silo and we'll have something for it. You remember back in the day when we would have things in the silo that we could go sell everything? right at the beginning of the game, and then we would have a little bit extra cash. Yeah, I remember those days. So now we've got a couple other things that we could do. I was gonna do the slurry, but again, I'm not quite sure if I'm even gonna worry about selling the slurry. We'll have that for us if we wanna start over, do whatever. Now we've got actually a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, straw. We're definitely gonna pick that up, and we're also gonna be picking up all the grass, turning that into hay and silage. Uh, so that at least we've got something for us. Uh, I'm also going to pick up all the straw with the uh, windrow wagon thing. So it's much easier for me in the long run anyway. Uh, taking a look, let's see if the animals have produced anything. Eh, a little bit here and there. Uh, nothing too crazy, not a whole lot. So most of this equipment we could just kind of put off to the side or park it in a shed. It would be nice loading back into this save, you know, a couple weeks or maybe even a month or two from now and having things in sheds so that I could access everything quickly and easily and see where everything's at. So that's exactly what we're gonna do real quick, right here, right now. So to end out a little bit, I figured we would take a DLC that we just received and well, let's take this. Let's have a little bit of fun doing some slurry spread. And how about that? Oh yeah, I've still got more left to do, so don't worry, this isn't the end. <laughs> got other stuff, I gotta go pick up all the straw, I gotta pick up all the grass. As a matter of fact, wouldn't that be a better thing to do right now? That's probably gonna be a better thing to do right now. Yeah. Made a mistake, didn't I? Yeah. Well, we can still fill that up, there we go. Also, I gotta get hand it to the oxbow equipment, man. Uh, this is real easy to get in and out of here. This is not, I mean, not an easy farm to uh, manage. Look at that chicken, he's like, no! Uh, this is not an easy farm to manage whatsoever, but I mean, look at this. In and out, super, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, we are gonna do double application rate so I don't have to come through again. And we're gonna put it all right here. May as well do this now. I mean, why not? It's, it, what, what, the other, it's gonna take 20 minutes in game? Maybe we could do this. I think this will be fun. So I'm using some base game stuff right here. Bomb egg, something or another. I'm not quite sure. Let's go activate that double. There we go. Yep. And then all we got to do is drop it down and rock and roll. One of the great things too here, uh, we can fast farm with it, which makes it a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, one thing, I don't know why, but I just never use this kind of equipment oi, oi, oi. i never use this kind of equipment it's fun it works really well i don't know i just never do manure spreading or slurry spreading maybe we should do this more often i don't know tell me what you guys think maybe we should do a, a like an all 
something or another farm. I know, I think it was Nicholson Farm way back in the day used to do um, farms where we would not use any bulk fertilizer. So it would basically just go through and not fertilize the fields until uh, he had slurry or uh, digestate or something like that. Oh, we are driving over everything. That's, a, that's another bit that kind of stinks about all that. You can't turn it on and off. Just is what it is. But don't worry, we'll be able to hit this whole field, no problem. Well, we uh, hit that field. We'll take a look at that real quick, go through, because I don't actually know what it looks like. Oh, yeah, fair enough. We'll come through here. Uh, I do want to sell the rest of this. I don't know if I can overload it or not. We're gonna, we're gonna try and sell it. We'll see, oh, start overloading slurry. Oh, money, uh, hey, cool. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. I probably should have just put it back in the slurry pit, but I don't know if you could do that or not. So there we go. There's there's a grand. Yay. I think this wait, no. Yeah, there we go. I think this, I think that costs like thirty thousand dollars to lease. <laughs> Such a waste of money. Alright, real quick, before I forget, I'm going to plant grass in this field because I am sick and tired of not ugh, just all the things. Grass is going in. I don't even care. What? Ba, 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 bam cool all right we got grass in there now and ever have to worry about that ever ever again even though i don't even know if it will matter ever ever again i don't know where to put this now where's this go yeah this will probably work we'll just put it right here since the trailer that i want's right there too actually yeah this works out really nicely if i could like lean tr or, uh buildings down a little bit yeah this would work good but can't do that is what it is. What are you going to do about it? All right, let's grab this guy right here. We've got a lot of straw to pick up, and we've got a lot of grass to pick up. Um, I think maybe picking up the grass first would be better. And then we'll go pick up... Oh, I didn't lower it down. There you go. Uh, we'll pick up the grass first, and then we'll go through, and we will pick up all the straw. And hopefully in the time it takes us to pick up the straw, the grass will have fermented and dried. Okie dokie, so how are we doing here? We've almost got all the grass picked up, and it's not as much as I thought it was going to be, but it's, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. What is that? Uh, 927,335 something <clears throat> liters? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how much straw we're going to get. It's probably going to be less than this, I'll tell you that much. Nonetheless, let's take this up to the windmill and, and beyond, and we'll turn this into some hay and silage to use later on. And we're back here one last time. Well, we'll have to... We'll come back. Actually, you know what? It's probably a good idea to go ahead and do this now. That way we don't have to make two trips. Um, Let's take a look at our production chain. Right through here. Um, Yeah. That's, that's the wrong production chain. Ooh, my mouse is going really fast. Uh, is that, is that normal? That doesn't feel normal. Aha, we're back. Okay. Uh, silage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Now let's take our time and fast forward like 60 times. And that should go quickly as it is. And of course you got to prepare yourself for the best backwards driver and farm sim, baby. Let's go. There we go. All right. That is all dumped out. The hay is ready to, but I think we'll go ahead and pick up the straw at least while we're here. We've got quite a few fields of it. And uh, I guess this is as good a place to start as any. Ba-boom. Go, go, go. Well, we're going to get a lot more straw than I thought we were. 720 plus thousand liters just off of these few fields. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and take this. We'll put it in the main silo. We've still got a couple more fields left to do. Well... One, one big one right here. Field number six. Then we've got all these. Nope, we picked up the grass already. Huh. Not as much to do. No, we got, yeah, there's still more to do. Kind of glad I went over and got this, got this thing filled up because goodness gracious. There was a whole lot more straw in this field than I thought there was going to be. There's 470,000 liters already. I know it's the biggest field on the map, but good gosh. I was not ready for that. What's our total number? 475,045 liters. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right. We're going to take this over. We're going to throw this into our silo. We got to head back over to the fermenter. We'll grab the hay, bring that over, drop it in, and then uh, we'll take a couple, take a couple pictures because I don't think I have a thumbnail yet. Okie dokie. There's hay going in and it's all on one side. It is kind of cool how FarmSub does that, isn't it? 
goes to the trailer. It's like, oh yeah, it's all happening right here. I got you. I got you. And it doesn't just fill up straight up. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> A little over underrated. There you go. And that just about does it that was the very last thing that we needed to do we're gonna take a look at what i've got set up for myself uh, at least uh coming in for the next time again also a little splash <laughs> i love it we'll also take a look at a few things that we've got and maybe a few other little things little bits bobs and pieces we started with i don't know three or four tractors <laughs> now we've got i think five we've got a an eight a seven a six a five and and whatever, whatever this is. Four, ha <laughs> ha, it's a four. We also have this little guy too. Love the John Deere 90 and uh, replaced whatever we were using. I think it was a four wheeler with the XUV. Very, very cool. Now, starting with productions, what do we have and what's gonna happen? Well, we've got 78,000 liters of wheat in there making us flour, which is distributing over here to Sophie's Sweet Treat Bakery. Here, that's going to be making the flour into bread and then selling it. So we don't have to worry about that. Our farm dairy, Cheaty. Gotta love the Cheaty. Uh, this is, well, selling ourselves raw milk, cheese, and butter. So we don't have to worry about that. And fermenting silo is done. Speaking of silos, what do we have left? So we have 51, almost 52,000 liters of canola, 58,000 liters of soybeans. Uh, milk doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> silage, 21 or 2.1 mil, 1.2 mil of hay, 3.7 mil of straw, way too much straw. Uh, we also have 670,000 liters of slurry, 12,300 liters of field beans, and we have a lot of wood chip bales. Do you guys remember this? Look at this. Look at all, oh, can't go too, co <laughs> too close. We've got a lot of wood chip bales in there. So that's taken care of, that's good. Now, we've also got some field stuff, and I'm sitting here yawning because I've recorded three of these episodes in a row just so I could make sure to at least make them work properly together. Uh, a lot of stuff left to be harvested around, but everything that we own is done, which makes things nice. Would be nice to buy these bits, but uh, we already tried buying all the extra bits through here, and I don't know, it just took forever to do, and you get too much stuff. It's just not fun anymore. Something else that's not fun is saying goodbye to a map that we have spent a lot of time on. A, a lot, a lot of time on. I can't remember the exact uh, times. I guess we could look because we're in single player, can't we? All right, where's, uh, where's all our stuff? There's our vehicle overview. Uh, here's all the money that we've made. Doing pretty well there. Where's our specs at? Isn't there a sheet that just tells you all the stuff? Yeah, here we go. So... Work detectors, uh, 171. I feel like it's more than that. Uh, cultivated, zero. Plowed, 3.12. I didn't really do much of that, did we? Uh, sowed. Uh, I'll let you uh, guess what happened there, as well as sprayed and, well, harvested. We definitely, definitely did that. Uh, no olives, no grapes. Work time, really? Five hours? Five hours worked? I feel like it's way more than that. Cultivated time. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, plowed time, 11 minutes. Sowing time, 48. Yeah, exactly what I said. Spray time, one minute. Wait, are those seconds or hours? I feel like that's... I have no idea. Four hours harvesting. Uh, we've driven 475 miles. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, fuel usage, only 1,400 liters. That's not too bad. Seed usage, 9,100. Uh, fertilizer use, 21,000. A lot of those numbers would probably have been higher if if I hadn't cheated. Uh, bills produced 930. We didn't quite make 1,000. Uh, and we did 37 hours played. Not bad. Years total, three years in game. AI workers currently hired none. And then, of course, the collectibles. So, uh, may have spilled the beans on a few things through there. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I'm going to miss playing on this map, but I'm super excited to move on and find a new map to play on, at least for now. Again, if you guys would like to see anything else from this map, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, maybe some one-offs, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me here on Court Farms. Hopefully we'll be back and I'll be back to see you guys. So we'll see you later. Oh, found the edge of the map. Appropriate timing.